Oh, yeah. XCOM 2. New game. We're going to be playing on Commander. Again, I'm not playing on Legend because Legend is comically difficult at the beginning uh, to the point where basically you just have to play perfectly and very boringly in order to win. There's no, like, you don't really have as many windows to do stupid plays in Legend, so we're skipping that. We might upgrade to it later. Um, advanced options. Here we go. This is the important stuff. First of all, lengthy scheme. Fuck the Avatar project. Again, it can go to hell. I think it's just stupid and annoying. I don't think it's very fun. Next up, not created equal. This is going to randomize the base stats for all soldiers. Some people will have more health than others. Some people will have more aim than others. I like having this. I think it's nice not having everyone identical. It's an additional little layer of like, this guy's really good. That's just a fun little extra thing. Some people will be really shit at aiming, but they'll be very tanky and stuff like that. It, you can you can have some nice variety on characters like that. Um, next up, specialization roulette. Instead of having a full set of all specializations for RPGO, I will have some randomly chosen ones when the folks promote to squatty. Uh, this is really good because the alternative is me being able to basically make perfect characters, and I think that's boring. Having a little bit of variety in everyone's classes is ideal so that, you know, some characters can just be the ascendant warriors of the team. Otherwise, I can make everyone a god because I know the builds that make them gods, you know? And then that is it. These are, these are our settings. These three. Everything else, some of these are more uh, helpful and better than others, but um, they also have typos, which worries me and terrifies me. Um, also, no Grim Horizon. I haven't played enough of the game to want to deal with Grim Horizon, frankly. <laughs> Wait, if I was going to do Grim Horizon, I would have to cancel it out by time, by like enabling another setting, okay? Like, I, if I'm adding any other shit I haven't tested, I'd have to turn on Time Turner or like something like that. I have to add some extra bullshit to make it like fair again, because otherwise I would just, you know. Nah, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening. No! <laughs> Man, the, the, the internet's gone down. How am I supposed to play the game with, this game's online only. <laughs> I think we're fine. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna need that. Let me just double check. Avatar project. Not created equal and specialization roulette, correct. All right, chat. So the only time that we, we reset our campaign right away is if for, because we skip Gatecrasher on this difficulty, I will be skipping Gatecash, Gatecrasher, no Iron Man. Okay, on this. If our four characters walk out and more than one of them requires a Psy Amp to use all of their abilities, on their randomly selected specializations, we instantly reset back to here and I restart the campaign, okay? There's a small chance that happens and if that does, then I am basically, I basically have two worthless and like characters that are basically trash. So um, that'll be a quick reset. No Iron Man, we're playing honor rule, okay? I won't be reloading. Iron, no Iron Man simply exists so that if a mod breaks or we run into a situation where a mod I find out that randomly appears in my game that I didn't actually get to test off stream appears and is so strong that it ruins the entire campaign. I will still ban those characters. I will rename them and we will reload to an earlier point because I'm going to remove that mod and like reload is essentially what's going to happen. Cause uh, otherwise there's a situation I've downloaded a lot of enemy mods and there's a situation where we run into something that I did not foresee being as difficult as it was. And then I get destroyed and we don't have any fun. Okay. Shall we begin? I'm going to do the actual story missions for the, um, all the custom War of the Chosen classes because I think it's way too easy if you get them early, frankly. You, you got like a, like a fucking Templar in the first five minutes of the game, you're a little strong, I think, frankly. All right. Accessing the feed now. Skip, we don't even go to Gatecrasher. Um, this happens off screen. Fuck it. Excitement can 
continues to build a Fuck you, lady! All right. Let's take a look at these boys. Let's take a look at these boys. Now we watch the story. All right, let's see. Let's see what these four have. We don't name them till we know if they use Psyamps or not. It's time. First guy. Is he a Psyamp fucker? No. He's fine. Continue. We'll check all their skills as soon as I've made sure that none of them are Psyamp fuckers. Or not more than two of them are Psyamp fuckers. This person also no Psyamp. That's good. You'll be able to tell because it'll be the first fucking skill in any one of them. We'll be like, Psyamp required. Uh, this guy is a Psyamp guy, which is fine. They use some Psy, they have warp stuff. So this person does require some Psyamp things, but one's fine. I know for a fact that guy requires Psyamp stuff. Uh, and at least last I checked, that guy required Psyamp stuff. Um, and last one, we're fine. All right, these are characters. These are all characters that will be renamed. We have a real game going. I'm gonna save it in a slot and then we can start. Shut the hell up, lady. Nice. All right. Let's take a look around, Chad. Welcome to the welcome to the ship. First, let's get through all these cutscenes for the beginning of the game. I'm going to watch the cutscenes because I've been skipping them on my own game and I haven't really played through XCOM properly, so I am gonna actually like watch the story. I have to hand it to him. Shut up. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology. Yes. Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research. Entirety? Here, as well as the procedure you so recently... Entirety. Welcome to my lab. Why'd you say it like that? Are you an alien? I'm not you an alien, man? May have told you, you an alien? We Why you talk like that? While removing you from Why you talk like that? Why'd you say it like that? Alien? Chad, I think this guy might be an alien or something. Lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already yeah, the the Advent. precise nature of its function. He worked at Advent and he However, says stuff like weird. Time and your approval, of course, Commander. I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Additional no point. He said, I, 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 I bet he says stuff like that all the time. I bet he says weird stuff like that. Additional. Were you to direct well, additional listen to him. support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. I don't trust that guy as far as I can throw him. I think we throw him out of the ship, Chad. I think we throw him out of the ship. But anyways, I'm going to start researching. There's, uh, there's one thing I sort of have to do. And, um, it's going to require me to rush some specific things because I have a mod on that adds cybernetic limbs and etc. to the game. And that sounds cool, but it means that if a character gets shot fucking bad, they could need a replacement head before they can go out and fight again. Uh, and I have to unlock that tech. And I believe I remember how to do it. We're going to get these two first anyways. But, uh, we're going to need to, like, be able to craft replacement limbs and like robo arms for these people early because um if someone gets shot wrong they're gonna come they'll still live but they'll say next time i want to bring them out on a mission they'll be like i'm not going anywhere until you replace my head i'm not going back out there my head got shot last time it really fucking hurt it's like kenshi it, i got like a kenshi mod on uh all right modular weapons first we'll just do whatever it's the I first thing that area of research to be keep in mind chat okay please bear with me we'll begin work i'm I'll going to be open to advice and help if I ask, but I have not played 70,000 hours of this game. Let me, for the most part, figure it out myself, okay? I will ask. If I need help, I'll say it, and I'll ask, because I'm not afraid to ask for help playing this. But I, I don't really want people yelling like, Get that technology! You're gonna want to get that! Like, I'd rather figure it out my, myself, you know? Let's go to engineering. Get to all the cutscenes. 
reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Build 20 medkits now! Engineer. Right You're now! Right. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Mm. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. Wish someone had told me that. Is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. Wish uh, someone had told me that before I, uh, you know, walked out here and talked to you and said, where's your dad, kid? To your face. But from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. Wish I didn't, like, push you out of the way and yell, where the fuck is Shen? Where the fuck is this guy? Where is he? Shut up, lady. Wish I didn't do that. Anyways, nice talking to you. Having never stepped foot in one of the. Uh, bu 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 that's enough of that. Command. Take me to the. Take me to the. Take me to the bridge. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge. Best voice ever. Nerve center of our operation. Oh my God! Imagine. The aliens does everyone else in this in building drift. feel jealous of him? Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Does Not everyone else like look at military. him and get like, "Fuck, dude, it's never gonna sound to like that." All back. Him and the him and the time, shadow time, man, you know who I'm talking about. Those two guys to to have got real man's voice. voices, you know what I mean? The ship is yours. Fucking the council guy, Commander. Commander, we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan okay, the Okay, that's for fine. That's fine. Stop talking to me. Resources. All right, chat. You never know Let's take a look at these characters. There. It's time to get an eyeball. We're not gonna name characters until we're bringing them in, so we're just gonna name the first four folks for now. Okay, but let's take a look at them. And their perks, more specifically. Before I name them, though, I want to look at their talents, the ones that they started with, because everyone gets, like, a bunch of first-tier abilities, which are these four, and then they get some randomly applied skills. And this person has Outcast, a refugee with nowhere left to go. Gains aim bonuses on flanking attacks and a 25 dodge bonus on isolated locales. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. That's a good start. And they've got 69 aim. Nice. And they've got uh, 6 health, which is a good start as well. Xenobiologist confers plus 1 damage bonus against targets who have been autopsied. Also really good. Windcaller's Legacy. Melee attacks against targets on an adjacent tile cost 1 AP and do not end the turn. Attacking an enemy within blue move range grants a move-only action. If using empty as a secondary weapon, the move action is granted for all melee attacks. This is really strong, but only really worth it if this character has a melee tree with them, okay? Because that basically means we take off her main weapon we switch it with a sword and we remove her secondary and she basically becomes a melee only character. Uh, intercept, melee attack the first enemy that moves within your line of sight and one AP move distance with a penalty to aim. Pretty good, pretty good melee warrior right here. But let's see what their trees are. Rifleman is um, gun boy. That's a classic gun boy. Nothing too special there. Shinigami, today I become death. Our si samurai. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this is a melee warrior. Sword thrust. This is a dex build swordsman warrior. And guard. Activate to guard the next incoming attack. Reducing its effectiveness can be used multiple times to guard against multiple attacks. Uh, can be used while when carrying... Oh my god. This uses a shield though. Which means we can't have an empty weapon. So this tree's somewhat worthless. I'm gonna have to think about this character because they can't use a shield and gain the benefit 
from wind the true benefit from wind caller's legacy so technically they can still get a benefit this could be a sword and shield character we would just lose out on the like secondary benefit of wind caller's legacy i would have to think about that by the way chat this is going to be a future swordsman okay this is also not their final look i will be randomizing them to an extreme extent but first i'm gonna have to customize them and give them a name a real name. Uh, where is their, like, middle... Where do I name their nickname? I'm, I'm gonna need to change their nickname. Either way, chat, it's time to pick... Time to pick a character. It's time. I'm only asking for subscribers. Don't fucking come out here if you haven't given me $5. Okay. <laughs> Please. Yes. A good a, a name for a swordsman. A powerful swordsman. Oh my god. It must be. It must be. And I actually haven't seen anyone yet. I just say that sometimes beforehand because it helps build suspense. And then the chat's scrolling so fast I literally can't find one. This is why I might have to do this like slow boat. <laughs> I almost had someone that they got like actually like killed by like the avalanche. And I see some people, like, doing it multiple times. That doesn't improve your chances, chat. It'll be you. A Zoomgi. A Zoomgi. Zoom. A Zoomgi. I'm not sure how nicknames work. Uh, wh how do I pick that? How do I, do they have to like level up more before I can pick a nickname? Cause right now they're, Azu they're Squatty Azumgi Azumgi. They need more XP. But right now their name is Azumgi Azumgi. <laughs> All right, they can get a, we can switch that to the nickname once they've, uh, you know, once they've, once they've leveled up. And now we're gonna randomize your look. Okay. Randomize. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty random. Now let's randomize it again. Okay, we've got some good options here. But I think we can go more. I think, I think we can I think we can do Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so now we officially start the 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 legally distinct okay, randomization selection process, okay? Chat, you're given three options. You're allowed three randomization things at that point. You must accept one, Azumgi. Okay. I actually will have to see you in chat to actually confirm whether or not you're good with anything here. I'm, I'm not gonna, actually, I'm not gonna. They're gonna be here all night if I have to check for you. No, 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 no. I'm going to decide for you based on what I see. Oh my God. Sort of looks like a, like a sword pastor, dude. Play our cards right, this could be a very edgy, like, churchman, dude. Doctor, Doctor Blade. Sword Priest. And they smoke too, that's cool. That's really cool. I sort of like that. Uh, that's, uh, that's too, but wait, you can't look bulky. All right, you're gonna look too bulky. This is pretty good, I sort of like this. You're gonna stand out in a crowd. Let's do this one. We're gonna. What the? Ba 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 It got killed. I don't know why it didn't select. Uh, it got. I I did click it. I swear to God. I clicked it. It, did, it got deleted. Okay, I got a better idea. We're gonna, we're gonna give you a headlight. <laughs> this is gonna make you very hard to. It's gonna be hard for people to dodge you now because you're gonna have a headlight. Okay, when people see you, you're gonna have your high beam on and they're gonna be blinded. They won't be able to fight back from that. Ruined. It's not the same. Well, it's what they are now. Okay. When they've leveled up again, we can evaluate changing their look again. Okay. But right now, we they might just fucking die. Azumgi Azumgi is ready. Next in line is this guy. Let's take a look at his abilities. Machine gunner, gun fu, and combat. Oh my god. 
fuck. This is a very powerful build this guy has. He's got dual weapon specialization. I'm not even looking at machine gunner right now. I stopped looking at that because I'm looking at Akimbo uh, pistols. Getting this ship up and running, which was mostly Dr. Okay. Shea's work. I haven't I'm looking at Akimbo pistols long. right now. I'm more than happy to leave the hard decisions to the commander. Shut up. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm looking at Akimbo pistols, big iron. All right. Dual firearms is really strong, Chad. I've installed an Akimbo thing. Uh, typically, if you use it without having specialization for it, your character loses aim with their offhand. Like they can shoot both guns at the same time, but their second shot has a lower aim. It has, it's more likely to miss. With Akimbo, they have equal aim penalty. They, they're the same, which makes it basically mean that you can hit for six damage if you play your cards right. You can hit for six off of a pistol shot, like a normal attack. It's very strong. I haven't seen many people that get Akimbo as a specialty. And it can only get stronger. Blindside. Soldier gets plus 10 aim against flank targets. Already also very good. And a regular. Former stealth operative. Low cover counts as high and gains concealment when not in visible range of any enemy. However, damage taken increased by 50. Mm. <laughs> That's, uh, we'll be, we'll be fine. <laughs> Starting to not feel like he should be a pistol build with his low defense. High risk, high reward. He can learn how to get bullet time, Chad, come on. High risk, high reward. His defense is two. I think that's fairly low, not ideal. But this character is gonna be an incredible gung fu, gun fu warrior, dude. This is gonna be good. It's time to name him. We need someone that's going to be fast. Okay. Someone that's not gonna be afraid of anything. Understand? Nothing. I want someone that looks like they can take care of themselves out there. It's you. It's gotta be. <laughs> Fat. First name. Frog. Last name. Dual wielding. Pistol specialist. Fat frog. Wide. That's why he gets hit so much. That's why he takes so much more damage. He's wide. Takes a lot of hits. Squatty Fat Frog. All right, you're gonna need to look green, okay? Attitude, happy-go-lucky. Uh, intense. I want this guy intense. I also want him to yell everything and, um, and I would say French. That's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna take that one. That's good. Uh, no one's gonna speak English on my teams. I'm actually gonna go back and change everyone to be talking in like other languages. <laughs> He's Russian though. I don't care. I don't care. That doesn't matter. All right, outfit. Oh my God. That's a fucking, that's might be the worst looking thing I've ever seen that face. Uh, nothing on this page really speaks to me. Let's go again. Uh, that's just, that is just a fake. That's just a fake, that's a faker. It's, it's faking. <laughs> it's not even. He, it's just a fake skirmisher. Another headlight. Uh, looking for something that just screams frog guy. Not really seeing anything that screams this guy's a frog. I mean, I get to change. I'll change the color scheme to work with it. Randomize one more time. Frat's a frog. This one right here, that screams frog. 
Oh my god, but this also sort of screams frog. That's fr that's a that's a frog look. That's frog. Lock it in. I need to change the color scheme a little bit though. Main color armor. Green. There we go. That's good. Don't need to do more than that. There's also we haven't been using totally random. I'm saving that for the next character. I need someone that's gonna stand out in a crowd. All right, Hans. Kingpin, a former leader of a large dissident gang, grants allies plus one armor piercing against enemies in his soldier's line of sight. That is wow, wow, wee wow. Very good. A nimble hand. As a free action, you can reload your weapon. This can be used every four turns. Wow, 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 wee wow, wow, wee wow. Very rad. Let's see how fucked your abilities are, though. Oh, yeah, this is, uh... This is a uh, biotic boy. It doesn't say these require science, but I'm fairly certain they do. I'm fairly certain these all require a psyamp, even though they don't say it. But he can be a, oh, he can be a shield boy, protector. While shield wall is in effect, gain plus 20 dodge passive. Um, allies within one tile gain plus five bonus aim. This bonus is increased to 10 aim when shield wall is active. Uh, shield trauma, make melee attack with your shield. that leaves the opponent disoriented and stunned. That's pretty good. Shield builds are pretty good. We can merge that with the biotic stuff to work pretty well. I think that's a, that's a fairly solid option for this guy. So this guy's gonna end up being a shield boy. Who wants to be our tank? All right, tanks, come on out. I know some of you know how to do it. Who's gonna be, we need, we need tanks in here. Only good tanks. Someone that sounds strong. Snorfed. Snorf to the destroyer. It's gonna be snorfed. Sorry, I saw that name. That name really got to me. S in <laughs> That's the first one. <laughs> Go to hell. All right, <laughs> totally random. Oh my god. That is him. That's Snorfed. The only thing we have to do now is change his voice. No, I don't think so. Italian? Spanish? Not a problem. Moving to designated position. It hit the plate. Can't, I actually can't understand this one. I don't know what this is. Oh, I should be a professional. Put it out, put it out! Don't understand what this guy said. What is this? Never tell me the odds. I can't. We'll see what I can that's do. trash. Alright, German. That's good. That's good. That's very good. German 2. Sorry, German 3. What's German 3 then? I, I, I want German 2. German 2 is what I want. The no pants is very powerful. <laughs> No pants, very powerful. He's got a po he's got pockets back there though, guys. These are not underwear. These are made to carry things. These are here for a reason. He's got pockets. He's got ass pockets. He can hold things in those if he needs to. Legs gotta be free. We're gonna equip everyone with weapons once the once we like go to loadout phase for the fight. Last soldier. We got another guy with wind collars, legacy, and intercept which I believe come together in the same package. Uh, gun nut. This guy, this soldier knows everything there is to know about guns and uses them to deadly effect, but doesn't always pay close attention to their own safety in battle. Plus 20% damage and plus 10 aim when using ranged weaponry. Well, this guy's not a melee character. I'll tell you that. That's fucking very good. But um, he suffers from a minus 15 in defense. Man, we've got a lot of uh, squishy fuckers on this team, huh? This is not gonna be a very pretty first fight. <laughs> Low profile. Yo. Yo. <laughs> this guy's the sniper. Yo. Full, co partial cover counts as full. 
This guy is it. Let's wait. We need to know his abilities. Breaker. Um, becomes undetectable to gain plus three mobility bonus during interception. Gain plus ten aim to all reaction attacks. Haymaker. That's melee. Oh, this is all melee stuff, huh? With the commander running things, I've got plenty of time to focus on learning to fly this boat. From what I've seen, you could use the practice. Yeah, a lot of the stuff. Some of the stuff is melee, but not. It's not that bad. However. This is super good. This uh, this guy could actually be like a fucking permanent. I could see this guy being around forever because he's coming with both combat, engineer, and medic. Medic, getting a guy with medic is super good. Really early. You have one free med kit uh, use on every mission. Each carried med kit gives you two additional uses. And we get cover me, grant an ally a bonus overwatch shot and cool under pressure uh, ability. That's also really good. Uh, Medkits do not cost an action is one of the possibly best talents in the game. Uh, so we're gonna rush that as fast as we can because that makes us incredibly spicy. That's really strong. All right, this team is great. I think this team, this guy's gonna be, the problem is he can't really be a sniper support. He's not gonna really be a sniper because he needs to be closer to the action. Uh, breach, fire shot that destroys cover and shreds. Yep, that's good. Uh, sapper, your explosives can destroy many cover objects. This guy's just a good support. This is just a really good support build. This guy's just got a lot of good support options. But I mean, we're probably gonna have him be the gremlin boy. I'm gonna check everyone's hack, but this guy might end up just carrying the gremlin. Like, double down on gremlin boy. We need someone with a gremlin. Early game. I think this guy, this guy gonna be medic gremlin support, at least for now. All right, let's name him. This guy's our support specialist uh, medic character. Who wants to be the healer? It's an important job. It's an important, it's a very important job. Okay. This isn't gonna sound very, okay. <laughs> this, is, this isn't a name I'd wanna be yelling when I need help on a battlefield, but it's gotta be Warlock Paul. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, a good that's a good name. And now we're gonna hit him, we're gonna hit him with the totally random and hope that there isn't any penis mods on my mod pack. This is chat from, actually, we're gonna go back to the other guys. Everyone is gonna get three totally random spins and that's how we decide what they're gonna be, okay? Because these totally random ones have put out some fucking real bangers. This fucking guy is wearing goggles with aviator sunglasses on. No frog, frog can stay, but the others go. Because this is not impressive to me anymore. You know what I mean, Azumgi? We can do better. I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow, yours? Is your character, like, busted? What's up with your yours, yours are barely random. What's happening here? What the hell is all this about? Your character's got one arm that must stay bandaged. I don't know what's wrong with you, Azumgi. Why is your character not... Why aren't you playing along with the others? No matter what, the bandage stays on. <laughs> okay. The hat's scary. <laughs> No matter what, the shirt and bandage stay attached. Fortnite skin. Well, they're gonna be able to see you in battle, but um, you know, that's fine. We're not gonna name any of these rookies because they're not gonna last very long, but the last thing I'm gonna do is um check for who's the best hacker. All basically the same. Frogs isn't impressive enough to matter. Uh, so yeah, Warlock Paul is gonna get our gremlin. Let me just set that now before I forget. Someone has to have aid protocol. <laughs> I know enough about this game to know that someone needs to have aid protocol early, okay? Someone on the team needs to have aid protocol. 
Oh yeah, we have to set his voice still. You're correct. You're correct. Someone's gotta have voice. You gotta switch his voice. This talks like a robot. He's not a human. Alright. Anywhere is better than here. Civilian unisex voice one. That means he says nothing. It's getting crowded around here. Multiple hostiles eliminated. The patrol is coming. Descarga los condensadores. <laughs> I like that one. Este trasto parece útil. <laughs> I might just switch everyone to Spanish too. I might just switch everyone to Spanish too. Every single person in the game is going to be Spanish too. Vamanos, vamanos. Like, it'd be really good. Uh, whatever. All right. We have a little bit of time to to hang out. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. So, chat. Need more engineers to clear I'm not very good at the building thing because I don't understand many of the buildings yet. I'm going to be honest. All I do know is that one of the first things I want to build is like a power relay, right? Like, I want to build one of those, like, snappy. And I don't want to, I want to build a workshop in like the middle of like a plus sign sort of thing, right? So like a workshop would want to go here, you know? Not immediately. Okay, because usually what I build first is a um, guerrilla tactics school so I can get more uh, slots for my squad. That, that's what I usually build first so I can get five people. That's what I've done every time. That's a good start. Okay. Because I thought it was either that or you get the communications thing so you can get more contacts as quickly as possible. But since we're not doing Advent, since Avatar Project is going to be slower, I think it's okay that I don't get that as fast. I mean, I can get that. I'll just build that next. But since I have Avatar Project slowed down a little bit, I don't need to progress Intel as quickly anymore. I can take it a little bit slower. So I don't need the communication building as quickly. All right. Sounds good. Looks good. Let's get to it. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. All right, let's get over there, chat. Let's get over there. We're going to be getting into a fight fucking soon. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capability. I, 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 I know how to scan for clues central or other resources. I know how to, I know how to do basic things like that, time, understand? Though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. These Modular weapons are unlocked. Prove crucial to our All right. ongoing efforts, Commander. Let's build the next thing. Hybrid materials. Just get some of the basics out of the way. That is an important task. I know, Tygen. Thank you for it. <laughs> that is, it is... I'm glad you... That is very important. Didn't turn off beginner VO. I swear to God, I did. All right, well, we got some rookies. Uh, welcome. Maybe one day you'll have a name. Now let's go to this road trip. Avenger plotting new course. It's very, it's very important you learn the most basic texts that we make extremely easy to learn because they're required for everything else in the game. I, I agree. Sure you will find the results Hybrid materials done. I do, Commander. Next up, that teaches how to make vests, which are good. Uh, we're probably gonna toss that on some of our guys. Uh, some of the squishier ones with lower defense. Uh, next, we'll just get alien biotech. And then I think magnetic, it's either experimental magnetic weapons is what I need to Oh wait, no, I already got it. Okay, so I just need 10 alien alloys. It's very important I make this as soon as it can physically be made. Okay, I know it's got a huge daytime to create, but if I don't build this ASAP, characters are gonna be unable to participate if they get shot. Essentially, of at a certain point, if someone gets shot, they could lose a limb and they'll just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need a robot arm or I'm not going anywhere. And that means we need to know cybernetics to build it. So that's coming up we'll make that our pretty soon. Priority. We're going to have to build that. Does it show the cybernetic? Oh, yeah, it does. Commander, as the resistance it's time. To grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike. Back it's time, chat. As it is, we've already New target acquired. To target to there's an the advent. Com there's an advent guy we're going to take our down. Opportunity is limited, so We'll have to move fast. We're gonna have to equip the boys now and get them ready. 
We're going to fucking East Asia, Operation Brutal Rain. We have to destroy the alien relay. This should be an easy level for us. It actually should be very easy. <laughs> uh, th this should be a piece of cake. Setting course for Take me there. Sector 14, East Take me there Asia. now. Okay, but don't, 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 don't go in yet. Don't go. I'm gonna save my game and make a separate slot, because God forbid something breaks. Okay, so we're just gonna save over the old smile. And now, let's do it. Just God forbid something breaks on the first thing. <laughs> After I already made the characters, that's like a chance. All right, Doctor Sing Li Engineer is will be the reward. We gotta load up these boys now and get them equipped with their gear for the run. All right, we know what we're facing. So let's equip everyone based off of what they're gonna need. Paul, <laughs> Warlock Paul is gonna need himself a med kit. That's just fairly obvious. He gets like three charges of it. It says one here, but he's gonna get like three. And his weapon is probably gonna stay as an assault rifle for now. Assault rifle's fairly good. Let me check his side stats. Yeah, he's gonna stay as an assault rifle boy. For now, I think. 20% uh, extra damage, plus 10 aim. Yeah, assault rifle's probably the smartest. He needs to stay somewhat close so he can't be using like the vector and stuff. Or any of like the weird snipers. But uh, let me just take a look around my other stuff. Uh, I might put, I might, since he has higher aim, I might just put the attachment that we get for free on our assault rifle on him. Uh, I'd have to go to his thing here. Get him an auto loader. Someone else gets free actions to reload. I don't think it's this guy. Yeah, let's get, let's put the auto loader on him. He's probably gonna be shooting quite a bit. I might as well put it on someone. We get a free automatic reload every turn. All right. Next up is Snorfed, who is our second gun boy, I believe. Still have another weapon upgrade. Lyrium coating for a melee weapon. Okay. I think this guy is our second. These guys are. Oh yeah, this is gonna be our. This is gonna be our tanky boy, right? Actually, I'm not sure yet. Snorfed is looking like he's gonna be Shield Boy. Just because Protector is really strong. So I guess I might as well equip him with it now. It's not as helpful. There's no point putting the shield on him yet, though because he doesn't have the abilities for it yet. He's gonna be more helpful using an actual gun than using a shield currently. Once he gets bolstered wall though, we'll switch him into a shield. So for now, he stays fairly standard. Uh, frag grenade stays on him. His offhand weapon, I mean, we could get the shield. It's a free, it's a free slot. It's not, we could easily get him. Fuck it, let's just get him the shield. He might as well get used to it. Do you look so sad now? <laughs> Man, it's okay. You're gonna know how to use that thing right eventually. Don't worry about it, man. Snorf, come on, man. Come on, man. You'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. He'll get. <laughs> he looks so sad. Yeah. Frog. What was Frog's build? I've come. I've forgotten what everyone does. Frog was irregular. Oh yeah, this guy was gonna be. Oh yeah, this was gonna be a Kimbo pistol sneaky wacky boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah, chat. Fuck yeah. All right. He's gonna need a smoke grenade. I can tell you that right away. This guy's gonna be out of position a lot. He's gonna need a smoke grenade. They want a smoke grenade on that guy. And the Zumgi. You were our melee specialist, I believe, was the plan. I'm not sure it's extremely wise to equip you with an empty slot right away. So I'm going to go ahead and get, keep you with a gun but I'm thinking like a shotgun sort of situation and then an offhand sort. And we're not gonna do single blade just yet. We need some more perks to feel comfortable with that. 
So I'm gonna give you a, uh, a katana, Nippon Steel. Or, or chat, we use the Wakizashi, which gives us Lightning Slash, which gives us an attack that doesn't cost an action point. The side effect is that it does a little bit less damage. It does one to four instead of three to five. It's better for forcing guys out of cover and out of situations because they'll try to run from you. I think Wakizashi is better overall. Knife attacks against nearby enemies within three tiles use one action and do not end the turn. There's a lot of melee variety. Ninjato is a silent takedown. That's not possible, I don't think. And Sword just uses Slash. I might just take the blade. Like a, a good old fashioned sword, a broadsword. For now. For now. And yeah, Illyrium coding doesn't apply to these. All right, chat. And lastly, we are gonna switch this character's offhand to a flashbang. Ah, fuck, do I need a flashbang? Flashbangs are really good. Flashbangs are like a guaranteed safety thing. I think I need one for sure. Most of the time, I've never actually seen the exact benefits of using one, but then again, that's because the enemies that I flashbanged didn't bother trying to shoot at me afterwards. This team looks ready. Let me just make sure Paul is like good. We don't have the med kit buff yet. So he's somewhat less useful currently, but he's gonna get there. Don't worry. He, he's gonna get there. We're gonna take first aid buff immediately. But well, it's important he has it anyways, just in case. There's a chance we all fucking die. And this is a really embarrassing start, chat. First mission's always a little bit touch and go. Okay, everyone knows that about XCOM. First mission is the most touch and go of the entire game because there's just a chance everyone eats shit because they don't have skills yet. But there's only one way to start and that's to do it. Go on out there, boys. I'll see you back on the ship. God, I love to watch. Love to watch that guy go, though. The one with the short shorts. Love to watch him go. God damn it. Love to see it. Love to see it. It's time. Operation Brutal Rain. If we're lucky, it'll be like in a subway. Like underground in tunnels or something. That'd be really good. Yo! That's exactly what I fucking was talking about. That, all right, this is immediately giving us an advantage. The smaller the hallways, the better off we are as a group. Every time. I hate open world maps. The larger the place, the more annoying it is. Good shit. Tunnels. Exactly what we want. Let's get down there. Look at this fucking squad. All right. I swear to God, I turned off tutorials, but for some reason it still yells at me about them. Ambient narrative. Sure. Wait a minute. Shut the fuck up. No, I don't want that. I thought I meant when I said sure, I meant no. No, thank you. Uh, enemy health zip mode is on as it should be. Subtitles, yeah, everything else is, everything else is fine. I don't want people talking to me, you know what I mean? Did you buy this game for $4? I don't know how much I paid for it, but is that a, would it be a problem if I did? All right, so we are going. Mm. Mm. A little bit of a distance there, but that's not a problem. We have seven turns to get there. We'll get there at around, I would say, turn five. We'll get there if we don't run into too many combat encounters. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a run, and we have to. Wow, that's uh, that terrain's actually very unfortunate. Um, all right, especially since we can't. Let's see if we can get someone that can crest this this part in one move, because if we get up there, then we can see if there's any enemies, and then we can have everyone dash up on their next turn. Because we need to get over this like hump. That's gonna. That's like this is gonna like cut into our distance. This little thing. So I'm gonna have a Zumgi move up over this ledge here with the blue move. I I've learned to never do fucking full yellow sprints. I'm not I'm not an idiot. 
You move up with one character so you know how fucked you are. We're concealed, so we should be fine. For the most part. To move up to here and cover this little hill. Moving to designated coordinates. <laughs> We're fine. Okay, so everyone else can come up here. And if some enemy does walk out there, they're gonna regret it. <laughs> if they do, if someone does walk out there, they're gonna regret it. So we're gonna line everyone up on this area. We can actually get someone down there, but that's stupid. Getting someone down there right now is stupid. I'm gonna take it sort of slow at the beginning. I really would rather someone not die uh, on the first mission. So let's just take it easy and slow while we're concealed and not do anything stupid. There's no one in that along this thing or Snorfed would have seen it, so we can position these guys in somewhat like goofy spots. It's not a big deal. And since Shield Guy uh, exists, Frog gets uh, a half cover from his angle too, because Shield Guy counts as constant cover, as you can see right here. Which is the nice thing about Shield Guy. Shield Guy is always cover for uh, anyone he's next to. Which is very nice. Snorfed is so fucking cool. I know. All right. First guy to send down in almost any situation is going to be Snorfed. And this is a good run spot. Okay, that, he's the closest. He can get right around that corner into full cover. If there is any enemies in that straightaway, he's going to see him. It's clear. All right. We're pretty close. We're actually, like, basically there. <laughs> He's, it always looks a lot farther away than it is. Um, but I'll be the first one to tell you I don't see many reasons to run into yellow most of the time. Ever. Uh, usually, if you take it really fucking slow, even from the limited amount of time I've played this game, it seems like very rarely you're going to run into a situation where you needed to full sprint somewhere. I am going to full sprint a zoom key over to this corner, though, because Snorf can't see anything either, so the odds are very low that we're going to get exposed doing this. Even if an enemy walked into the area, because we just don't see anything. So we're going to move these two into cover on the other side and move them all up together. And we'll put these two on concealed overwatch. <laughs> so if anything walks in this range, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to XCOM explain, even though I'm not a genius at the game yet. Just so people that have never played XCOM understand what I'm doing. Overwatch basically means if an enemy walks in front of our line of sight, we will fire on them. However, since we are concealed right now, Enemies can't see us unless they're in a certain range. Uh, which means that we won't fire on them unless we get revealed. Say if an enemy walked into this... Oh my god. Walked into this area. Good news is these guys are not close enough to proc that. officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Well, we could totally merc these guys. But for now, we're gonna be somewhat careful. Fuck! Ah, I really wish I could reach that corner. Okay, well, we can't dilly-dally. Um, there's gonna be at least a pot of enemies in this area, so we probably should deal with these two or we're gonna, like, regret it later. So, we've already got really high chance to hit on both of these. We could probably one-shot one of them with one attack from Warlock Paul. So, Warlock Paul's gonna stay there. We're gonna move good old Azumgi. Fuck, we technically have an angle if we put Azumgi here, but that'd be really stupid. Uh, mm, I'm trying to see who has, like, who, we can technically move Snorfed here, and we could probably light them both up. It's better to come out of concealment now. It's a bad spot, but, like, if we put these two just overwatching this corner, the problem is we don't want to, act, now if we start a fight up here, we're going to activate two pods of guys. All right, we're going to activate two packs. So, um, it's better to take them out before we discover more people, because it'll be less enemies later. Which is, the, which is the whole point of killing stuff when you discover them, because now these guys will likely activate if we fight someone else, and we'll be fighting four guys instead of two. So, I'm going to move Snorfed around the corner to help with this, and this should be no problem, because we'll set the other two on Overwatch, because these guys are going to either cover right here, over here, or they're going to run out into this area thinking that they're safe. And when they think that's going to happen, they're going to get uh, lit up. Overwatch. To move up fat frog to be a bit closer right here all right it's too bad snorf can't just reach with a grenade that would be that would be the good good if snorf could just blow them both up i'd take a grenade kill like right away all right snorf aim sucks so we're gonna open with uh we're gonna open with warlock paul on this one 
And then I'm gonna decide what I do with Snorf. If these guys run closer, I'll grenade them. If they run farther away, then we'll figure it out from there. I'm not gonna overwatch it because they'll just miss the overwatch shot. Those percentages lie so much. These ones are actually fairly accurate. These ones, it's felt like at least. I'll run. Man, that Advent Officer's got some HP though. He's got some fucking HP. We're gonna, we're gonna try to take down the Advent Trooper. This is the first shot of the game, chat. Not like he has a shield. I mean, yeah, he's got a shield, but that doesn't make his aim any fucking better. <laughs> that doesn't, that doesn't make his aim any better. Warlock Paul's gonna start this fight. And he's gonna end it too, with a fucking instant kill! For no, that. These guys make up the predicted advent forces we've dealt with. What? Oh, those assholes! Are you kidding me? Makes them predictable. I don't think that God damn it! You shouldn't have set him for Overwatch. I didn't know that guy was just gonna position himself like an idiot. Whatever, this guy did they did position themselves like idiots to an extent, because I can grenade. I can technically grenade the Advent Trooper. I don't think I can get both of them with this, though. This is that cover. Why can I not get him here? It, would this hit him? It's graying him out. I think this hits him. It's technically, he's technically in like the wiggle. I mean, technically he's in cover. Yeah. I mean, either way, I'm going to kill the Advent Trooper. Because I, why play safe? Like why save our grenades? Use every single one. Every time you have them. Oh yeah, fuck you, bitch! Missed, never had a chance. I can't believe we didn't get Overwatch on him, but whatever. <laughs> Still sort of pissy about that, but whatever. Angry, I'm gonna be angry about that, I think, for a long time. But, uh, I just, like, I just fucking cut him in half. We'd probably get spotted. We haven't explored that area. But I could do it from... We wouldn't have any cover. That's stupid. I don't want to run up and get fucking blasted by some bullshit. But what I am willing to do... Which one of these guys has the full cover perk? The low, the low profile? Because that's the one I want to move up. But... Warlock Paul gets low profile. I mean, we got to move out of cover eventually to get this guy. Uh, 41% chance to hit him from here. I don't really like those odds. But I also don't like the fucking odds of me getting blasted by this guy. We have to kill him this turn. If I'm gonna move my guys up, we gotta kill him this turn. Now, unless some guys patrol, we can see this area. Unless some guys patrol, we can technically get in a cover here and kill this guy. Without any issue. Technically. I think what I'm gonna do is move right here. There's no one down this area, I don't think. I'm gonna move, uh, Snorfed up to here and basically set him in Overwatch and then push the ad force the Advent Trooper to run back over here and get just blasted by Snorf. Because he's going to have half cover from all the other angles because of his shield. So I'm just going to set him in Overwatch right there. So if he moves back, he's going to get hit. Just win. Smile. Yes, yeah, Snorf can move up in weird angles because he has a shield. So uh, he can he can be like, he can push really well into areas that are really awkward. Uh, fuck it. Play on the wild side. I'm gonna move this character up, and I'm gonna aid Protocol Azumki afterwards. I'm not sure this is gonna be enough for, uh, a flank, this angle. But, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta do some crazy stuff, you know, eventually. We're gonna aid Protocol Azumki and move him up. Bye, Azumki. Azumki's gonna be fine, dude. They're tanky as shit. And I'll overwatch as well right here. All right, Azumki, pray you don't activate another fucking pod of enemies right now, because it would, that'd be really fucking annoying. <laughs> You'll probably be fine. You're fine. Yeah, this will slap him. Or you'll fucking miss, stupid. You should have just gone with the sword attack. Son of a bitch. At least there's no pods over there, so we can use this cover. I could also just smoke grenade us, but I don't want to waste that yet. Dude, if you hit this, you'll do four to six damage. It's a little bit lower than half chance, fat frog, but you're our most powerful warrior. Damn it! It's 246%, so idiot. Outplayed. I knew it. I knew it.
I knew it for Chad. I knew it all along that I was positioning there was gonna force him to move. He knew it. Once you get to like 70% chance to hit, characters get spooked. They don't want to stay there anymore. I knew it. Well, we have three turns to deactivate that thing, so we need to start running. Uh, if we see a fight happen here, if anyone shows up, we're gonna need to, uh, you know, just sort of ignore them to an extent. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna move Snorfed up into an illogically unsafe position because he's got half cover advantage. We're gonna move him up in two turns, like one step, two step. Okay, because he's gonna give us cover which is gonna allow the other guys time to close this gap. We only have three more turns to get this. So we're gonna have to run into, we're still con, wait, frog is concealed? Yo, frog's still fucking concealed though. Ah, yes. He's a regular. He's a former stealth operative. Low cover counts as high and gains concealment when not in visible range of any enemies. I could run him up, but it would be, I know there's a pod of enemies right here. I can tell you for certain there's enemies right here. And probably enemies right there. I'd like to move someone else. I'd like to personally move Snorfed up and get an eyeball at the enemies. Fuck, but if I see them, fuck it. Frog, look, we're running out of time, Frog. Nothing. Frog can get to there next round. He might activate the thing, but there's nothing in this area that can see Frog, which means we can move down this hallway. Something might walk down this hallway. So I'm gonna set it as an overwatch on Snorfed. And I'm gonna run everyone else up to cover in these zones. Okay. There's... Mm, mm, if I move anyone else up into stupid spots, they're gonna get fucking seen. Azumki should move here. Actually, probably here, right here. What's over there? Frog's gonna, we're gonna move up with Frog and toss a smoke into that area. But I don't wanna move these guys into something dumb. Cause if they, uh, if they go to a pod zone, they'll get spotted, but Frog won't. This is gonna be really down to the wire, but uh, we gotta shoot it, unfortunately. So um, Frog's gonna have to move into position here. Because we got to light this thing. Oh my god. There's like 18 guys in this fucking place! <laughs> We're all in like a billion guys hiding in this thing. Are you fucking kidding me? Really good fucking luck on that one, guys. This is a bad scene. And we have to kill this right away. Okay, where are the other guys? This sucks that is actually bullshit sectoid on the first mission no not that that's the problem the problem is that all four of them unlocked as one because they were standing on each other like assholes and we have a time limit to break this thing okay best play here well we know there's nothing else in this area then because these guys fucking activated everything so the best play is to fucking try to save fat frog from being sectoid mind blasted in a fucking half of a second means everyone needs to move into positions. Fucking hell, this sucks. Okay, that was just about the worst fucking outcome that could happen. But we can scare this sectoid right now if we hit him. We need to scare these guys out of the middle. Frog can possibly kill the tower in one turn. And our chances of hitting the tower are actually guaranteed. We could go for the objective right away and get the objective, but we still have another turn. I can't get a grenade in here. I don't have the flashbang guy up here. I don't know if they're gonna be able to reach it. It would be if they can get it in that fucking corner. That's the play. But I'm not sure Azumki's gonna be able to get that angle on this. We can flashbang just the sectoid in the middle. We can get two of them. All right, we can get two of the people. That's better than nothing. You watching? <laughs> ah, yes. The shadow, the shadow realm. <laughs> All right, Frog, you have to shoot the, you have to shoot this objective. Okay, he has to. This is gonna suck for Frog, but he's the only one that can one shot it. And I don't know if I, that or he fuck, here's the problem chat, okay? Here's the issue. 
The sectoids have guaranteed mind control on, any, on everything. It doesn't, I could smoke a grenade frog right now and do it next turn, but the sectoids would still get him with mind control. All right, so that's pointless. They're guaranteed shot on that. It's disoriented. I count a second one to chat. <laughs> Uh, the second one right there is the problem. I'm also partially sure that you might have a flank on me from here. Let's let's evaluate our other options first, okay? If we move Warlock Paul up here. Is this guy... This guy has an anger... That Advent Trooper, yeah, makes this very unfortunate because now I can't use that cover. He'll flank it. So this is the best cover that Paul can take. Paul can technically aid protocol, but that's it. He can aid protocol frog which will help him with the incoming blast of a thousand bastards shooting at him as well but there's a high chance he's about to get mind control very high the only other option we have is to try to kill one of the advent troopers because that might make that other sectoid do a, like a zombie attack i'm gonna aid protocol frog because Frog also has 50% more damage taken from his attacks. Frog, kill the fucking tower. We'll figure it out from there. All right, tower's down. We're getting... Oh, fuck you! Oh, really? Gonna be six guys in here. This is, like, actually bullshit RNG. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll one-shot this sectoid with a crit. That was six damage, not enough to kill it, but it hurt it. Wow. What is this? Okay, this is like a actual... Am I on commander difficulty? Because I have never had this happen before. This is like actually the... Chat, this might actually be a reload the game situation. <laughs> this is a this is a campaign ending thing right now. That's actually like insane. Yeah, there's the mind control. On oh he did a res. That's better. We can't evac. Chat, we have to neutralize all enemies. I've never had the RNG fuck me this bad on this. Yeah, this is over. We've lost on our first uh, mission. It's very low odds we can win this with move. those stun lancers. So stun, those stun lancers are going to kill us. I can't believe a single scenario where we win this at this point. Is that was that another pack of guys coming? What was that sound? Okay, well, Frog can do something spicy I'm here to this sectoid. This will instantly kill this sectoid. Maybe, hopefully with the crit. Okay, sectoid's down. Uh, next up, these stun lancers are actually going to fucking totally destroy us, and there's not really much I can do about that but ignore them and hope they miss their melee attacks. Like, literally, I just have to ignore them and flank them and just try to kill them as fast as I can. Please crit! Fuck yeah, baby! If the Stun Lancers die, we have a chance, but the problem is the Stun Lancers. Okay, we're gonna flank this Advent Trooper as well over here. And kill him. This should insta him, which cuts it down to the Stun Lancer and an Advent Trooper and a Sectoid. That's gonna be, that's gonna end disorientation in a minute. Okay, please God. God damn it. Well, he's gonna move. He's gonna move. All right, sectoid. We have a, we would do a ridiculous amount of damage to the sectoid because he's vulnerable to melee. But that priest is gonna probably stasis. Can I reach this advent lancer? That lancer is going to do an insane amount of damage, but he's gonna do it to our guy that's the tankiest, which is good. I would prefer that's what happens. Even though it's going to also apply a stun. That sectoid will die if I do this. The priest won't ha the priest might come after us, but I think chat the best bet is to slash the sectoid before he mind controls someone. And take the possibility of me being in shitty cover for like the priest to turn around and get me. 
Priest should not be this early. I have no fucking idea how this happened. But I, hang on. Let me actually make sure. I'm on Commander. I've I've done like five fucking test campaigns of this. I shit you not, I have never had Stun Lancer spawn this early. The first mission with a priest, I have never seen something that fucked and nothing has changed. Chat. I have no, like literally nothing has changed from the last like eight times I've done this. And priest spawned like immediately. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know, but it seems like we might be able to recover. We just have to, the Stun Lancer is going to be the problem. That other one. And there's nothing, I don't have an angle to flank him, unfortunately. I mean, technically, if I did it right here, I believe he'd still have cover, correct? And I, and my crit chance is far too low to one-shot him. So I can't do that. And he's a melee character, so he'll just punish that. Best bets to kill the sectoid, this is almost a guarantee, which means I'm gonna miss it. Let's go for it. We're gonna go right here. The priest will probably get a flanking attack, but Azumi's just gonna have to tank it because we need that sectoid dead before they mind control. Okay. That's it. That priest is definitely gonna shoot at us, but this advent trooper should run into a different area. I think this is the package. He should bail. You don't have a flank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, there's no, he doesn't have a flank from there. This guy has, oh, he overwatched. Yo! Wait, who's he stasising? Ah, he's stasising snorfed. Wait, that's, what? I was not expecting that choice. I, I wasn't expecting that play, but I mean, I, these guys just left cover to do that. So I think that Advent Stun Lancer just killed himself. <laughs> They're throwing! They're throwing! <laughs> They're throwing it! They're throwing the game, chat! Okay, Paul has to heal. I'm gonna run him back one and we have to, fuck dude, but this guy, I need to get this other Advent Trooper killed. But that trooper's also right there still. There's like, okay. This was a 38% chance to hit when you attacked me last time from here. I'm gonna roll that that's still okay. I can heal and gremlin protocol Azumgi in the corner before they go down. And they might, they may survive a second shot. Because we don't have any other choice. This Snorf is still stasis and I can't help him. So Azumgi's in a lot of trouble over there. There's nothing I can really do about that, unfortunately. Unless I just say, fuck you, ignore that Advent Trooper, and like, gun it at that one to save Azumgi. Will the Gremlin reach? Oh yeah, they'll reach. I, chat, is there a specific order that ends my turn? Or can I do both of these in any order and it's fine? I'm pretty sure that I can do both. I can heal and aid protocol without getting stopped. You can do both? As long as they're blue, okay. So heal yourself first, Warlock. Okay, and then, yeah, we're just gonna ignore this guy. Um, I don't personally think he's gonna hit, I mean, if he hits me, it'll be another three damage, which will survive. Worst case, he tries to shoot at Azumgi, but Azumgi's very likely dead, frankly. Um, I'm gonna aid protocol them, and hopefully he'll somehow magically get out of this but the odds are low. Stasis has ended on Snorfed. This guy has done a psycho play. Uh, luckily we can tank that, so we're fine. And they're throwing. This is, this is fine. Oh no, not Priest Chan. They're throwing? They're throwing. They're throwing. They're doing, they're doing some stupid shit. This was in, I cannot fucking believe they're throwing like this. Okay, um, I believe we get flank if I move here. No, nope, but we get basically the closest thing possible to a flank, so I'm gonna kill this guy now. <laughs> Paid actors. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna... 
Move closer now and... Uh, Azumki's still stunned is the problem. I'm gonna move closer and kill this other Advent Trooper now, I guess. Uh, he's in Overwatch or whatever. Hopefully. Ah, oh, we don't have an A. All right, Snorfed. If there is ever a time to beat the odds, it's right now, Snorfed. This is how we save Azumki. You have to beat the odds. Or we just shield bash him instantly. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's probably the better play. We'll just... Eh. Okay. It's over. It's just this asshole priest now. Let's fucking kill him. Fuck this. Worst fucking first level I think I've ever seen. This is like legendary tier bullshit. We just got thrown at us. So I'd say we handled it pretty well. We're all injured, but I mean, someone might still die. It's not over yet, but I would say this was about the best outcome we could have hoped for. Azumi, please, God. He's doing something weird. He's throwing. They're throwing. <laughs> They're scared. <laughs> beat the shit out of him. Beat the cra beat the crap out of this guy. <laughs> throwing. <laughs> the paid actors. They don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> Wow. Oh my. Did you just auto stasis pussy? All right, everyone pile on this guy. Everyone pile on this guy, all right? If you say so. Pile up on him. When he comes out of this thing, fucking intercept and kill him. Just fucking kill him. I want him dead. Wow, I at chat. Yeah. I cannot fucking believe we we lived. That should have been a complete wipe. That was the perfect combination of that priest being the worst healer I've ever seen in my whole life. And those fucking idiot stun lancers doing the dumbest fucking plays ever like back to back they position themselves for to be flanked by me and then immediately on top of it ran to a zoomgi to stun them in the middle of like a clearing instead of hitting my tank this deserves a photo i cannot fucking believe we got out of that oh my god formation wedge Look at these fucking guys. Look at these guys. All right. Oh my God. The Reaper pose. Oh my God, the thigh. Okay, that one's sort of bad for, uh, you know, I can't really see what he's doing now, Azungi, back there. This one <laughs> sort of cuts out some of the uh, folks in the shot. Azumki again, very fucking rude. <laughs> but you get to see all the best parts, you know? All the all the best stuff is in there. Man, Azumki's acting like a psycho. What it? Fighting for our freedom. Fighting to free those fucking thighs more like, dude. Fucking hell. That's powerful. That's powerful. That's powerful. Mm, this is it. Right here. And like, Paul's just pointing at something in the distance. <laughs> Paul doesn't even know there's a picture being taken. These two, Frog and Paul are just like, what the hell is that thing? It's like, they're just pointing at something in the distance and looking at it. Right, fact, they don't. No one here knows there's a picture being taken. All of them are like, everyone's just looking at, pointing at something in the distance that they see. Like there's like an alien still moving. Fucking see that? Easy. Hopefully we never get bullshit like that ever again. Because that was the most insane first level I've ever seen in my whole life. 
misguided dissidents. That was a brutal rain, huh? Yeah, I guess it was. We only missed chat. We only missed one shot. We missed one shot and it was at the beginning. If we missed any shot during that fight in the middle, we would all be dead. That, actually, that was an easy mission, dude. Easy mission. Easy mission, dude. I, it's only gonna get worse from here. I disagree. I think that was some crazy bullshit that happened there because I've never had a mission on Commander be that hard that early. I've had hard missions, but not that early. You know, that was, that was actually fucking crazy. Poor Paul didn't even level up. Fucking broke his legs. Didn't even level from it, dude. Fucking Paul. You could argue that Paul was one of the most helpful on the team, didn't level. Pathetic. Or lock Paul, too bad. Meanwhile, snorfed over here. I would say MVP's gotta be Frog, though. Took out the objective. I would say it's MVP is snorfed or Frog. Azumgi for uh, most crazy. Yeah, Frog. Frog did that double crit. He was like triple, he was like critting over and over. I don't think we missed one crit when we needed to. Meanwhile, Paul for most pathetic. Followed closely behind Azumgi for most pathetic part two. More pathetic than ever. Let's get Frog promoted. Trick shot. A special dual pistol shot against a target in cover ignores cover bonus and has a 40% crit chance, but deals damage only from the main hand weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna wanted them. He's gonna fucking want it around like, uh, like corner curve bullets around them. Actual protagonist frog. That frog. I'm gonna check what the others do first. Breach uh, breaks. Yeah, this destroys cover and shreds one armor. That's also really good. That's like super good on the Akimbo guy because we have six ammo and it uses three a shot. But I think first thing's definitely gonna be gun food. We gotta get a guy with a machine gun, like a cannon soon, because cannons are really strong. I want a character with the Sentinel specialization. Once we get that, we will be in it. All right, Azumgi, what's your deal? Rifleman. Samurai Shinigami. The only thing that will make Azumgi better is more melee power. Okay. Each time the Samurai kills in melee, he gains one focus point. When activated, none of your melee attacks are turn ending. Activation consumes two focus. Or we get guard. Activate the guard the next incoming attack, reducing its effectiveness. Can be used multiple times to guard against multiple attacks. Can be used on move only actions when carrying a ballistic shield. Uh, Used automatically if the soldier didn't attack this turn. That is so fucking that. Oh uh, man, I wish fucking. I wish we had that on our other boy. Samurai is fucking scary. Here's the thing, chat. Melee attacks never graze. Samurai can quite. If we get guard and then a bunch of these samurai things, we are going to be fucking scary. Never grazing is insanely strong. And especially we want Samurai, we want Azumgi to be good at melee because I hate to break it to you guys, there hasn't been a single sectoid I've seen in the game that I didn't cut in half, okay? I, I, uh, sectoids are a instant kill in a uh, situation for me in, uh, in my games. Frankly, <laughs> I'm gonna take Shinigami. No, I'm gonna take guard first. I'm gonna take guard first. Guard feels more useful. Early game. Since Azumki already got put down to two health in one shot, guard feels more useful early. Because Azumki, if they're gonna be doing all melee soon. It, honestly, chat, if we get guard, we could probably switch to pure melee build soon. We could probably pivot it to empty offhand sword main hand guard build coming up soon. We need a little bit more, and then we'll be ready to do that. Shield and sword? Two shield guys is a lot of shield guy. And it's gonna make Snorf feel insecure. Commander, each of our soldiers is raided. Oh my god. Their understanding of our tactics and Snorf has gifted level intelligence. Combat intelligence. 
Snorf is a very smart boy. Snorf! High combat intelligence and will gain ability points at a faster rate. Adept. Yeah, this guy. I mean, here's the thing is that this guy needs this. This guy needs this because, um. I'm pretty sure we can't access any of these without a psionic amp. It doesn't say it, but I'm almost positive we can't yet. So I don't even want to really... I'll have to test that off stream. I'm not going to take the chance. Um, we're going to take Bolstered Wall. He looks intelligent. Snorf, look at him now. He looks a lot more confident now. Look at that. Look at that pose. You know what I mean? Look at that fucking pose. God, I wish I was snorfed. I know what you mean. Another auto loader. That's great. That's great. Balanced alloy blade increases aim by 10. Is it time to make a Zoomgi a samurai? Truly? It's time. Say it. Say it. Talk. Hello, Commander. The council you oh. to rule is no more. Oh. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the advent oh of the Oh my station. god! With one exception. Optimus Prime! Good to see you again. <laughs> Optimus Prime! Capture, I have done all I He's can so to aid fucking the manly. from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. That's me. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you is that actually the voice for Optimus Prime? I swear to God, it does sound fucking close. World, is that actually the voice actor for growing. Optimus? We no. Yes. They have been taken to a nearby Advent black site. It's not. It is. It's, it's not. All right. The scenes remains unknown. It's the honest Time trailers guy. Short, oh, I don't Commander. watch it. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact I don't, with the I don't watch YouTube. I think YouTube is stupid. The Anyone that does YouTube is like an idiot. Find this black yeah. site and shut it or down. Or watch it. Also idiots. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Dude, I'm still riding on the high. Commander. I'm still riding on a fucking insane high from that last level. That was like dopamine, like overdrive. You know what I mean, chat? Getting out of that, or more or less unscathed. Commander, Commander. Incredible Commander. dopamine hit for me. All right. Recent findings. All right. Commander, having these two soldiers Azumki and Warlock. Together has oh my God, off. you two! Come on. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. Oh my God, you two! Come on, best friends. So you're leaving out the other two, huh, assholes? So the other two aren't allowed to be friends with you, huh? You're like ruining the dynamic this quickly? You're gonna like figure out like a secret handshake and then the other two are gonna be like, Frog's gonna be like, oh. Frog's gonna wanna join and Zumi's gonna say, fuck you, asshole. You don't know the secret handshake. And then Frog's gonna. <laughs> Is there any reason to not bond to them, chat? I actually haven't looked this far into the game like this mechanic. Is there like any reason to say no? Unless I desperately wanted them to be partnered with someone else. No. Okay. Teamwork. Make a custom poster featuring this bond. Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just to check out these two. Machine. I thought that was him Safe on the ground getting stomped on. I thought Azumki was just fucking stomping on Paul. We can bolster morale throughout the resistance. <laughs> okay, well that's not what's happening. That's good. Okay, lots of dead bodies in those. Guys, stop it! Stop it! Where are you finding these? How many more bodies can we add? Meme, this is the layout. Meme? Azumki and Paul, shoulder to shoulder. How do I add more bodies? I want to add more bodies. Background options. Edit soldiers. 
I want more bodies in this. Shoulder to shoulder. <sighs> Azumki and Paul bottomed. <laughs> that's so fucking... That's so boring, chat. Memes are boring. Why is there always a body? Where are we getting these bodies? I've never killed one of these things. I don't know where we're getting these. Oh my god, look at that fucking kick. I knew Paul knew, knew Taekwondo, dude. I fucking knew it. And like, Paul, this is a... Is that Comic Sans on the combined skills? Uh, combined kills? No, 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 sure. Uh, this is like fucking Azumki saying, oh, hey, come over here. Like, uh, and Paul's like a jealous friend. And like the second that Azumki starts talking to another friend, like he just kicks them in the chest and like caves their chest in with like a fucking powerful roundhouse. Six whole kills. Yeah, can we edit that part out? Uh, can I, uh, can we... That's gonna look better. There we go. <laughs> there it is, guys. There it is. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start clearing out space. All right, Ying Li. Welcome to the squad. We keep looking for more oh, no. recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facility. Oh, some geese afraid of fucking stun lancers as a melee. Are you fucking kidding me? Out is no easy task. <laughs> Zongi, you're gonna see a lot of those as a melee character. Ways. You're gonna be like to swords fighting with them. You can't be scared case. of them. You're fucked. Well, whatever. We won't see another one of those for a while. Probably. Hopefully. Well, let's clear this debris. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components. Shut up, lady. If we clean this stuff out, we can well, probably use this space for a new facility. Excavation is underway, Commander. But well, it's going to take some time let's to uh, get on get on moving now. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually. That's going to be a fun facility. mission. The black site we try mission. To make contact with their forces. Oh, another engineer. Lucky. The engineers are very That's good to get early. We want to get as many engineers as possible. So called Avatar project. We want to like spam engineers over everything else because that's how we get like. That's how we get. That's how we get the stuff. You know what I mean? That's how we get the stuff. We want as many engineers as possible. Speeds up everything. I don't care about that road traffic. We're probably gonna have to get some new squaddies in here. What's the? Huh? Huh? What? What, what's happened? Much of my own research based upon this simple design. What is that thing? If only I had. Oh, it looked a lot bigger before. Ah, <laughs> okay, it's actually very small. Timing. I thought that There's was like a big thing in the shit. Okay, that's actually like, managed to break like down bite several size. key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is oh lost. Oh my god, 5G Several connectivity right to remain, your brain. However, uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. These guys the look like they're losing. <laughs> These aren't good simulations. Was astounding. Every I just watched like 10 guys get fucked. That you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem Every single one, every single one of those shots was someone getting blown up. Are we bad? This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant. I briefly assisted They were playing in XCOM 1 in your brain. Clinic in New Providence. Oh yeah. I don't know, it was always hard to was accept that, that we lost considering how how easily I thrashed only. those assholes Captain in XCOM 1. Like that was XCOM 1 I thought was pretty easy officer. in comparison to this one in a lot of ways. Like I, I fucking I played a good bit of XCOM a 1. Understanding of these and I liked that one a lot. I did, benefit us but all. I definitely Command. felt like I beat them. I thought aliens would never come back after what I did to them at the end of that game. You know? <laughs> I was like, there's no way the aliens are coming back. I fucking ripped them so bad. Because Overwatch was so much stronger back then. You could beat that game on the highest difficulty real easy because you could Overwatch everything. All right. The Advent officers have clearly been. We've unlocked the infirmary. To for their subordinates to receive and we got to decrypt some stuff. I have. The implanted chip is the key, Commander. The science team has brought. I have particularly gathered. In this I have heard and so read so that, that it is not advised for me to do autopsies. However. 
specifically because most of the time we'll get a breakthrough that lets me learn it instantly later. So the autopsies don't like go away. I, I, from what I've gathered, don't even do them. Like save them, you'll get them instantly done later on. So just skip them, do other stuff. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Then the next thing to do is resistance communications to start the main story. I don't know what this is. This was something we picked up. I think I don't do this. I think I do the resistance communications right now. I think I'm gonna skip an 11 day alien data cache. Gives Intel. I'm gonna wait on that and do the resistance communication. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. We get, I don't remember suffering. I don't remember not having Intel whenever I needed it last time I played or even recently. Like what we want as engineers, scientists and to build now a power relay. I think, I think now we build a power relay. Even like, not just because it's the only thing I can afford, but because I think it's, we want to future proof. So I think we build a power relay. Now. And then when the gorilla thing is done, we can level up to five squad mates. I think almost instantly, once that's done. All right, that's another engineer, Dr. Huang Kim. Whoa, uh, are you allowed? Chat, do we allow robots? Cause that looks like an alien robot. I mean, I guess he's a good engineer. He built himself. I guess that's a really good resume. All right, so what do you know about engineering? Oh, you know, <laughs> oh, you know, a little bit here and there. I've got chrome skin. Six uh, days for supplies. I'm gonna go over to there instead of assorted supplies. I mean, I, that's probably the same thing actually. All right, so we just get like a bunch of free days for now. I'm hoping that we're gonna get enough time that our characters can heal because less squaddies I have to bring into things the better early game. John. The skirmishers are advent. We're doing this this advent early? is the enemy. The enemy oh, no. is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet. Oh, fuck. You? I hope Frog's side? ready to go. After all we've because Frog will you. dominate this Look, level. I'm not exactly having drinks with him, but they did hold up their end of the Frog park. will thrash what this place. You? Wait and see. Fuck. How many lost did you say there'd be? I'm using uh, so World of War Lost or whatever the fuck Murder. it is. That was so many Falk lost. Of Falk All right. Friends. He and his reapers are a big part of the reason. This isn't going to be a walk in the park. This is going to be Falk thousands of enemies around the edges, but he's the real deal. That's one of three resistance groups operating in. We'll be fine. Lost are actually pretty easy. It's when death. other enemies are added to the equation that lost become yeah, a problem. They make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Oh jeez, you have the DLC? Why wouldn't I use the DLC? The DLC is just more good content. Is there like a controversy around the DLC? I always assumed it was just good. They came from, but you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities, provided you serve as the go-between. The only reason not to use DLC is if you're playing like a long between these two, so and not using long wars to chosen. Quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area Though, frankly, whenever I see Assassin show up in my fucking comes. maps, I start screaming not and pulling my hair out early game. Like, actually, I start screaming. Before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. <laughs> if they're my first, uh, like, fucking... I mean, they will be, since we're doing the story. I think they, I think they automatically show up. I think Assassin's gonna be the one we get. But... What do you say? It'll, here's the thing. I've learned how to deal with assassin. The problem is that I'm going to need a chemical grenade, okay? I have learned how to kill them very easily, but it comes down to getting a ton of fire grenades and just hucking them where I think they are and watching as it ruins their whole day. Like you just need to fucking acid grenade or like flame grenade them. If they're not, if they're immune to grenades, then you leave. All right, if, it, 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 if the assassin is immune to grenades, you fuck off. If you do the story version of this mission, it always, it's always the assassin first, which is too bad because man, oh man, uh, the sniper is one of the most comically pathetic losers I've ever had the pleasure to fight. Whenever he shows up, I get people wide, dude, you know what I mean? 
and I just start laughing. I just start laughing because I know it's going to be a fucking cakewalk. He's so bad. <laughs> so weak. <laughs> I fought. He's been. I fought him late game too, and even now he's like. I'm gonna fucking take you down. And I walk a guy up to him in melee and I slap him. He's like, ah, fuck. And he like runs, he just runs away and spends all of his actions running from me. I just chase him with all of my guys. Like at full speed, we just run after him. He's like, ah, fuck. And he just keeps trying to fucking get away from us. I, I don't think I've ever seen him shoot at one of my guys before in the game. I've never had him connect are going to wait a for shot. Us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. Well, I would say we're going to stall here. Deploy. Okay, here's the thing. I'm hoping that my guys, I'm going to check if my guys. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough okay. to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place. Is who's available meet, right now? Still, I'm not, not to be mean to you, Paul, but I'm just curious who's available. Azumki's out of the fight. The other two are just tired. Tired means it's fine. I, I can take, I'm fine taking these guys in tired. Um, main important one was taking Fat Frog. Uh, and we're gonna wanna take Fat Frog in the first run. Fat Frog should completely thrash these lost. But he's tired. Well, tired fucks with their will, but sending them in for one more mission should be a piece, should be fine, okay? But I am gonna save. Yeah, I am gonna save before I do this. Uh, never mind. I actually can't get out. Looks like uh, looks like we're gonna have to just stick with the auto save, which should be the same because we haven't made any changes to these characters. So that's fine. Uh, second character we're gonna take will be Warlock Paul here. And Warlock Paul's Gremlin is gonna be swatched out, swapped out for pistol. That's just fucking obvious. <laughs> for this, uh, yeah, we're gonna be swapping out the pistol and keep everything else the same on Warlock Paul. Uh, give me a fucking break. If you don't know why I'm packing pistols, uh, you'll understand. Uh, just extremely obvious <laughs> stuff. Uh, the rest of the kit's fine on these two, so these two are fine. Yeah, these two are fine. Do I want to build it? All we can make is a nanoscale vest, and these two are fully healed. No problem, they're fine. These two should be a-okay. Uh, second squad will be Snorfed, who's tired as well. But frankly, chat, in my opinion, I'm just gonna lower the volume while I talk about it. I brought a lot of guys in tired, and I haven't seen the adverse effects of it very much. Like, I, I genuinely haven't seen many downsides taking someone in when they're like just barely tired i know it's like a like a will thing but early game people are rarely put into a stressful situation enough that it's gonna break them so it's just like whatever it should be fine early game especially and our second character we'll take is gonna be we have to name someone boris chat we have no idea what Boris is going to be like because we literally can't see his skills, but we're going to name him anyways. Okay, you are officially going to be a wild card. We have no idea what your deal is going to be until the end of this level. If you survive, which may not happen, subscribers volunteer. pick your name. Schwampson, I want you to know I see you. I'll pick you one day, but if I pick you right now, people are going to yell S name and Omega Low. I can't pick you. All right. But I can pick. I can pick Groutso, Groutso. I can definitely pick Groutso. That's safe. All right, Groutso. If you get out of this one, Groutso, you're going to be, you're going to be in it. Now I'm going to randomize your look now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's horrible. What's that? Is he like Mass Effect Renegade underneath that mask? What's going on with that mask? 
he's just... What's under? There's so many layers of bullshit. He's wearing like, and when you take the mask off, he's got this underneath. What is going on with him? I guess whatever, never shows his face. Never shows his face. Okay, well, you're gonna need a pistol. Oh my God, you can't even. Oh, Groucho, Groucho. Oh, Groucho. Okay, Groucho. Here's what we have to do with Groucho. Chat, we need the assault rifle specifically because we're gonna have to fight a chosen. He needs an actual gun. I don't want him to use a pistol for that. But what we can do, okay, is go back to squad one and swap guns. We can give Warlock Paul like a bullpup or something. Something else. And then we can give Groucho the auto-loading one, which will at least help him a little bit. That'll mean he auto-reloads once every turn, which will help him stay in the fight. Here's the thing, uh, don't get attached to Groucho, okay? The only, re look, Frankly, if I was a smart boy, I would send Groucho with, um, you know, an actual fucking guy like Frog. Groucho should probably go with Frog, frankly. But as things are, that's not on the table. We will give Snorf the pistol though, because Snorf is mainly going to be doing, uh, the, he's gonna be close quarters anyways. So he's not gonna need the, he's not gonna need a better gun than that. He should be fine with the pistol. Uh, this should be, Groucho's gonna die. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how else to say it. Groucho's dead. Groucho, let it go. You might not make it to the end of this. The odds are low. Everyone else, though, is kitted and ready. Groucho, just stay near fucking... Just, just stay near Snor Snorf, okay? Groucho, because that's the only way you get out of this is if you stay near Snorf. He's very strong. He's, a, he's like a fucking man. You know, he's a man's man. Please, Tomato, hit randomized again for Groucho. I don't think so. But I will give you a custom voice for Groucho. Groucho doesn't get real clothes until he fucking levels up. Well, I don't want a Templar. Everyone... It was Spanish 7. That's the one. He's French. Irrelevant. Chat, last I checked, you can be American and speak another language. Chat. Last I checked, that's okay. He's Russian. <laughs> Chat doesn't even. Chat, all right. I wasn't looking. I just heard someone yell, he's French in all caps. Okay, I didn't check the, the flag. That wasn't on me. I read chat. That's some chatlet that said that. Okay? It's time. May everyone pray. Not for the other three, for Grotso. The other three should be A okay in their teams. Pray for Grotso who's gonna definitely die on this mission. There's an option in audio that attaches the character's voice to their nationality. Why would I do that? Get in there. Everyone, pray for Groucho. If there's a god, he'll be kind to Groucho. If there's a god out there, Amazing music is becoming obnoxious. Shut the hell up, Zazoom. Three. Nice number in your name, bitch. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of that resistance. All right. 
Bruins of Chongqing. Let's do this. Everyone, it's time. Look at Frog carrying his one gun as if it's a real gun, his little pistol. I'd say we're in the right place. Stay sharp out there today, people. Just because this city was abandoned doesn't mean it's lifeless. Everyone just stay calm. If you are hungry, there's more where that can oh my God. Impressive reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. We're all friends here. You are safe here. Uh, uh. More so than you imagine. Uh. I disagree. If I throw, if I shoot one bullet, about a thousand lost are gonna pour in here like World War Z. Dude. True for these skirmishes of yours. Like just barreling over each other like a like a fucking. <laughs> Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. I am going to turn down the music a little bit, though, because it feels like the voices are a little quiet in comparison. Uh, voice volume. Rolling out. Rolling up. Out. Sound effect volume. Up. VoIP. Up. Music. Down. That should be good. Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be That's a long walk, man! Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this! Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's Reaper the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows in the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth Who's this guy? Who's attacks. Beard Boy? And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. I see, I see. Reapers use an advanced form of concealment called Shadow, which only has a chance to break if taking actions. Consecutive actions release the chance, increase the chance of being revealed. While in Shadow, Reapers have increased mobility and their enemies have smaller detection radii. These guys are OP. These guys are the strongest characters in the game. Uh, I hate to break it to you guys, chat. Um, these guys are fucking actually busted. I think everyone can agree on that. Honestly, all the fucking DLC characters are busted. These guys especially, though. You'll see. Shadow is fucking absurd. But anyways, we better get moving, chat. As you order, Commander. We got a long distance to travel. Damaged and dormant all these years, these devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I you guys want to smell that? What they were like you guys want to smell that? It's got visible function. stink trails. We you there, want to smell it? Doctor. You're better off having missed it. Good news is there's no timer, so we're going to take this real oh, slow. Shit. We're going to take this blue all the way out. Understand? Visuals. We take this, we take this. I mean, this should be fairly safe. I'm pretty sure it's just lost in this area. But we take this a oh, real slow. Aside from, aside from the, aside from Outrider here, who goes a little bit faster. Okay, Outrider first. Every time Outrider first. So we are going all the way down this block, or we can technically go through a building. I'll tell you one thing though, going through a building is really fucking stupid. Also, there shouldn't be any enemies with I guns this early. Yep, there's some lost. They are. Look at them. What's that one? What's that one in the? One of them was wearing something weird. I didn't quite get a glimpse at that. What was that? Hang on. Thought I saw something weird on that one. Was that a? <laughs> no, surely not. Couldn't be. I will just sit here. We'll sit here and... Actually, it's really dumb to sit here. I don't see why I would. Let's move up here. I am at your service. That's a big boy. We might want to go around. 
That one's a brute. All right, we're gonna go around, I think, on that one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We're gonna go, we're gonna go fast. What the fuck, why does it say I'm gonna be loud here? What does my guy stomp on right here that makes a noise? <laughs> It's like a can he's gonna step on or something? Yeah, boy. Other character didn't do that. He's got a fart. Does he just like trip? Paul? <laughs> Alright, well, Paul is paralyzed with fear. He doesn't want to go. Oh my god. Well, we're shooting. Uh, they discovered us. Oh my god! The circus is in town! Man, by God, there's thousands of them! They're everywhere! Clowns! These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. All right, Perhaps chat. The result of long Here's the deal. This is how this works. All right. From those pods. So why anyone would subject themselves to that, I cannot imagine. Whenever you when kill a lost. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. I, I turned off all these voice lines, I swear to God. Whenever you kill a lost, you get a action point back. So, specifically with pistols, I'm pretty sure. So as long as you kill them with a pistol over and 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 over again, um, they will, you'll always get action points back. So you can, yeah, all guns. But pistols have typically unlimited ammo. Normal, if you're not akimboing them. But Fat Frog should be fine, he has six rounds. Uh, so yeah, we, we will be headshots, just headshot. The point is that we get a bunch of, the point is that pistols are the most efficient way to kill these guys. So I'm gonna shoot these guys with the pistol before I do anything. We're actually still. How fucking does Paul have something that makes him extremely visible all the time? There was like light on. He does have a light on. What the hell? Is... Paul, are you like extremely conspicuous? Cause like no one else was spotted. Whatever. Let's move Paul up. Typically, the hope is that we one shot these guys. Wow, our flashlight, yeah, is very bright. And then, you know, don't have to uh, ever stop our turn. See, so now we get a headshot. When XCOM unit kills uh, a lost unit with a standard attack, uh, the, the unit receives additional action points. You can kill several lost and still move normally. If the, so if the shot misses or fails to kill the lost target, the soldier will not receive a special, an additional action. Uh, special stuff does not do that. So yeah, essentially we can chain Shots and hopefully, if we don't fucking, oh my god, Paul, oh my, Paul, oh my god, oh my god, Jesus Christ, Paul, Jesus Christ, mother of God, worst character in the entire team, pathetic POV. Whatever, it looks like fat, fat here's the thing though, though, Fat Frog might have to reload, but every shot he does is more or less a guaranteed kill. If he misses a 5%, I will screech. Okay, he, he seized there for a minute. That sort of panicked me. That panicked me. I got worried. He, like, seized up. Yeah, because he gets two rolls, his odds are very high of actually making contact with all of these shots. You know? So, yeah, we can shoot all these and then reload in our last turn. And clear. Because that's the frog way, baby. All right, Frog, reload all of them. Bada bing, and then he still gets another move. He still gets another move, so we're just gonna overwatch. So we're gonna go this way, since the other way had a brute. Uh, we're gonna cut this way. And since we are concealed, we can just go this way naturally. Paul, why aren't you more like Frog? Something over there. No clowns, that's good for us. Oh my god, why do I set them on Overwatch? This is... This is only a problem because of the Overwatch. I don't know why I did that. Good news is, Outrider was never spotted, which is ideal. We also don't need to worry about cover. So, um... We can just move this guy... Let's move, let's move Outrider out of the way. 
so that they don't get fucking seen doing this. We're gonna move them up here. I am trusting you. I don't want them to get. I don't want their sneak to be broken. Now our rider can take free shots at these guys. We are known to them. And they got revealed instantly. That's um unfortunate. That's an unfortunate odds there. 25% chance that they got spotted. It's it's whatever, man. It's whatever. There's no actual alien enemies, I believe, in this area. So, uh, Outrider can just clear all three of these for us. Pathetic! And since they headshot it, they get to reload for free. Peasy, easy peasy, chat. Easy peasy. I believe something in this area is still aware of our position. So let's just take it slow. And you know what? We will use pistol overwatch. It can't backfire five times in a row. You know what I mean? It can't backfire 18 times. Eventually, it has to stabilize. Here we go. Oh my god, Frog. Oh my god, Frog. He just concealed again! Frog is the strongest guy on this team! Frog is going to be an ascendant demigod by the end of all of this chat. I have no doubt in my mind. Frog is going to be the one. As you order, Commander. Protagonist. I guess we might as well reconceal. I stalk my prey. Back into shadow mode and move ahead. Typically, shadow isn't just going to be spotted in a street, so we can move them up. I will go. To check stuff beforehand. We're going to have to pass through this building, but that's it. So we're going to move everyone up to there. Since uh, Outrider doesn't see anyone, I'm willing, I feel comfortable uh, moving up into orange because typically that means nothing can approach fast enough since we don't see them to be an actual problem so i'm gonna move them up a little dangerously here these creatures are okay. worse even than advent all right warlock no you've been fucking beefing it bad for this team paul all right exist. but i have confidence if we do that you'll figure it out aliens soon we will become little more than they are who do you think I'm going to accidentally run through glass eventually and fucking accidentally reveal the entire team? Because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Don't worry about that for a fucking second. Pretty soon, someone's going to just just slam their face through glass by accident. Like, just auto-pathing in a weird way. Uh, all right, you move up one more. This is like the last stretch of the level. We're already here. These levels aren't these these starter levels are not very hard with the loss. Fortunately, we will make it to your path in time. The main difficulty is gonna come from the fight when we all get together, the whole team. That'll suck eggs. <laughs> we have some grenades, but uh, not many. We didn't really pack many of those, so we're really banking on uh, the two new classes to carry us through that, yeah, yeah. that little encounter. They've played themselves. There's something up ahead. Lost or something coming into the coming into the store. We risk all this for Praetor Mox. If he is not what you say he is, I shall kill him. I'm myself. down. Looking lady. forward to this meeting already. Camping the fucking spawn. Actual bullshit. Short. Frog is angry. His fists are bald, dude. He's fucking pissed off. Look at his look. You can see him shaking down there. You can see him shaking. He's fucking <sighs> bald. I meant bald like into balls, fists. You know what I mean? Not bald. He doesn't have bald hands. Kill this guy. He always says a little verse from his Bible that he carries with him right before he attacks. He always says like a Bible verse. If you notice that, he whispers it behind the mask. That's why he seizes up for a minute there. Actual pathetic. Actually can't stop, Paul. I mean, Frog Boy. And he missed two shots. I can't fucking believe he actually missed two shots. I'm, I'm on Team Paul again now. Frog, after that bullshit. I'm on Team... I'm on Team Paul again. I'm done with you, Frog. You missed. You blew it. This, if this misses, if we miss one of these, I will fucking actually lose my, oh my god. 
Well, you know, you win. You can't win them all, Chad. And sometimes you get revealed every single time you shoot your gun. But sometimes that's just how it happens. No compromising. Anyways, I'm gonna reload now, and Give next turn we're gonna get uh, get our uh, move on into the next area. Central. Uh, the Five other team is gonna struggle much more with this whole deal, I think. Uh, that'll be interesting to watch. A swarm. We must push forward before it arrives. I can a swarm get coming, Chad. We gotta move. We gotta move. Everyone get into the area. We gotta get out of here. There's a swarm coming. There's something. Years, this is something coming. His kind. You should have a clear path through now. Let's get out of here. Fight the brute. I would box. prefer Proceed to, to not. You don't understand. We'll be there. You don't understand. Land! To <laughs> Second squad, dude. We just... Oh my god, we're so dead. Looks like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. We're so... Second squad is so fucked. Oh my god. We may have a bigger problem here. I'm guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crocsod. Advent. The twist is what kills him. It's never the first. It's never the first part. It's always the twist. You know. He was fine until the twist. Our meeting point is still secure. <laughs> Every time I gods, I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. <laughs> it looks like Even he's embarrassed. Your <laughs> it looks like he's now, embarrassed. We must go. And Grouso's here too. All right, you guys. Rendezvous with outriders further ahead. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. This could surprises be dangerous. are the least of our worries today. It is these reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the skirmishers, were created by the false gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been made by the aliens, but not anymore. We fucking, we don't, hey, we don't like them anymore. The skirmishers can fire their bullpup and move in any order on their turn. Or they can even shoot twice on their turn if desired. Oh, God, Ochan? You okay there? Don't do that again. Okay? Ever again. You can grapple, which adds versatility to your character, allowing them to travel quickly across the battlefield and get in advantageous positions. This guy's pretty strong. He's not as strong as uh, as Sniper Boy, though. Not by a million years. All right, chat, so we got another fucking 10-mile jog uh, to town now. I will move. I'm fairly certain we don't have aliens that come here, so this is another, like, just, you know, That's move up without way. cover, without a care in the world. Just stand near fucking snorfed, you know what I mean? Everyone just, as long as we all stand near snorfed, we'll be okay. Get that half cover from Snorfed. Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep on moving up. No reason to waste any time. Wait, what was that? What? Alien activity! Oh my god. Okay, everyone stay calm. Everyone stay calm. Groxo's not ready for alien activity! He's not equipped for that kind of stuff! Groxo's scared. It's okay, Groucho. There's no time limit on this level. We can take our time. Spoilers. <laughs> the game's fucking spoiling. I will go. No trespassers. It's okay, Chad. But we're gonna move up real slow. 
Alright? Because these aliens are loud as fuck and they're gonna come over here soon. Advent purifier. Destroyed by me. Those guys explode when they die. Um, we're gonna wanna be careful. Unfortunate, Groucho, but I'm not surprised your first shot was a miss. Good news is no lost yet. That's pretty epic, frankly. Um, I could probably give this guy a real dirty flank if I really wanted to. Give these two both, like, some fucking nasty business. But I'd prefer to do my other turns first. This says half color cover, but I swear to God, it should just say full, because they can't even see you through the fucking vehicle. See, the problem is that we have no support abilities, because I've packed for the I've packed for the fight later, where we're going to be dealing with a lost at the same time as a chosen. But um, what I can do, where does where can Groucho go? Uh, mm, there's no real good spots to move. All right, best thing to do is move Mox up, kill this guy, and then fucking, you know, do some extra bullshit later. I don't, I'm wondering if I can, this is a, this is a, I don't, is this a free action? I don't know if I get this for free or not. If I get this for free, I can blast him. It's a free action. Because I think this is the play then, is to go up top, get in the cover right there, and just blast them both. I have a grenade. Changing position. That's cover. Or I can technically shoot twice, and now my odds to kill are fairly high. Not super high, but fairly. Or I could just... Oh, wow, my grenade reach is terrible. How many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that wouldn't reach. This is a five radius. I think if I get into cover right here, I will still have an angle. I fucking hope I do. I don't. Okay, then we're gonna use the grenade. <laughs> this fucking asshole is possibly going to just blow up when I do this. He might just fucking die. It will shake them. If the car blows up too? No. Well, now these guys are both on death's door, uh, which means we can hopefully. Uh, chat, will. Here's a good question, okay? Will my grenades respawn when I go to the next area for the for the next fight. No. Yeah, I'm gonna need those grenades for uh for character number two. Ah, uh, how do I feel about 42% ch chance to hit here on that purifier? I could also technically do the flashbang, but I'd like to save that. Purifiers can do a lot of damage if they reach you. But I like, I like living on the wild side! Oh my god, Groucho is the fucking worst character we've ever had on the whole team. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Actually the worst character. Well, the responsible thing to do is move up uh, old Snorfed. Okay, under the heavy. logic that... Maybe we can... Oh, I mean, if we hit this guy, that'd be beautiful. Perfect. So All right, that guy's gonna have to close a lot of distance to... You can't reach it from here. Yeah, nope. Oh, my God, he's gonna miss it. He missed it. Me voy a chicharar. <laughs> vamonos, vamonos. Took the hell out of the... Truck's gonna blow up soon. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I have plan. And it's... Make Mox do something. I go. <laughs> Alright, Mox, uh, fucking kill him. You are kidding when you Get away from the truck! Turn away! Careful with these things. We don't need to take See, that guy blew up. I told you he'd blow up. The patrol has been liberated. I told you. May their lives not be lost in vain. Let's get sno we let's get this guy over by Snuff. Alright. Come on, Groutso. Works for me. Move out. <laughs> That is why you don't stand near cars for cover. Uh, they, uh, they blow up. Everyone just talks in Spanish. I think I'm actually changing everyone to talk in Spanish. I really like 
I really like no one talking, like, English at all. Alright, uh, well that car can explode more, so I'm gonna move up with Mox. And probably get a reload going. Reloading weapon. Yeah, unfortunately, you definitely this feel weaker here. with, uh, with these assholes than you do with the, with the badasses, you know, the badass reapers, you know. That's normal. God, it's so nice having cover off of Snorfed, dude. So fucking nice. Alright, we'll just keep on moving up. Uh, inchworm style. Probably gonna get a pod right here. Yep. Wait, no. Oh my god. It's them. The guys we just fought again. This is no patrol. It's an army. Yes. One we do not have time to face. I mean, I just did that earlier. That's not as epic. I did that already. I did that already with an ice cream truck. So, like, what? what what's the difference? Purifiers may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction. I already point. did that. That's not that, that cool, Mox. You're done. not that cool. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach. They to your come. The loss. And one of them's a clown. They excite them. They are drawn to it. And you just blew up a few. We're being surrounded. Find an alternate exit. We will deal with the lost. There's thousands of them! Dashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. And Just move into the middle of this clearing, Snort. The mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing enhanced speed and reload. agility. With a we have a turn to reload and, like, get ready. Because they're coming. Let's get into a clearing and get ready. Okay. Don't even overwatch, we'll just waste ammo that we can use when we shoot. Just tunker down. Wait for the and mock back up to meet them as well. Moving. This is the play. We're gonna hang tight in a bundle and let them come to us. We gotta last four turns. They're here! They don't have melee yet! It's our turn! Unfortunately, they've all walked into a real close quarters thing, which was their big mistake. I, at, guys, that fucking, I actually believed he missed that. I, at, I saw him aim fucking 12 miles above his head. Shield bash? I'm not sure shield bash, will shield bash count for the thing? Will that get me a headshot? I don't know if it will. I don't think so. It's gotta be a gun, so I'm not doing that. Stupid chat. Snort is aiming up high a lot with these, and it's fucking spooking me. Snort, I don't know what is happening with you. Why are you aiming up so high? I don't know, I guess he's trick shotting. All six shots, all six kills. Reload it, Snorf. He did good. Now shoot that guy too. Fucking kill them too. Ascendant God and like fucking Groutso's over here just looking like, oh man, I want to, I kind of want to shoot something. But there's no time. Oh, uh, maybe Groutso, you can pick up the fucking slack on that one if you're lucky. I thought he missed. I thought that was a whiff. Yo, Groutso, congratulations on getting promoted. Unfortunately, we won't know what you got unless you survive this mission. I don't know. I didn't actually... I wish I could undo that Overwatch. I really don't want Overwatches right now. Because we'll probably miss these. Yep. We got more lost inbound! Good news is we get auto reload, so that's fine. Understood. Holding position. Two more turns on this turn! Okay. I'm happy to be Okay. I'm happy Oh, no. They're hiding behind that fucking little thing. This is actually a point where we reposition a little bit for this. Come on. Groutso, it's your time. Good shit, Groutso. I mean, it's, I shouldn't have to compliment you for killing the easiest enemies in the game. 
But good shit anyways, Groucho. Very, Very good choice. stuff. Incre actually incredible work, Groucho. Now let's get you reloaded. Keep everyone else hunkered and down and just ready we here. Got something here. Just need another minute. <laughs> now your minute. Just another minute. Just everyone shield. just shield wall. We don't actually want to shoot them when they approach because we don't get a bonus action on that. So we're just gonna hang tight. I can't it just you can't just naturally end your turn. I don't think. Enter. Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. We found a new route that should get you to the rendezvous point safely. The lost are still converging on the Yeah, area, we know so where we're back. going. That will not be a problem. Let's get the hell out of here, Chad. Let's get the hell out of here. No problema. No problem. I understood that one. He said no problema. <laughs> As long as I don't see any brutes, we'll be okay. <gasps> Groutsa! <laughs> uh, should actually be fine. Ah, golly, I sure hope that, uh... We can kill most of these guys. It's all over. All dead. Groutso still got his turn. Alright, Groutso. If there was ever a time... To not miss any shot. It's right now. You have to hit every shot on these first couple. Groucho, God. Flashbang? I don't think so. Groucho doesn't need that. We're saving that for the fucking chosen. <laughs> Flashbangs for the chosen. Okay, Mox has yet to fucking show how powerful he truly is. This is his chance. Give him the business, Mox. No Give him the business. Wow, oh, I don't have an angle on that one, huh? That's actually a pretty big shame. That one's gonna get into melee. Ideally, I'd like him to go after Shield Boy then, so if I can hit this guy, I'm probably gonna run away on those. Alright, no, 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 no. We're gonna back up on Mox. Because they'll probably go after Shield Boy. Which is ideal. Frankly. I go He's got the most order. defense. Hopefully they go after... This is the only one that can reach him, I believe. These guys might not have their turn. Yep, that's fine. Return fire on that. And these guys shouldn't have their turn. I don't believe. Yeah, they don't. They don't. We're good. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Losing two armor is fine. guys out and we got to keep moving at the same time guys so uh shoot and run all right shoot and shoot and run oh my god man i should shoot them before i run but i'll just have mox kill them if we don't get him this time mox has to reload anyways he's the fastest guy he'll catch up he'll catch up it's reloaded. Let's get the hell out of here, Chad. Cover me. Reload as you command. Get the hell out of here. Okay. One more turn and we'll be out. Just play it by the books. Everyone just stay calm. This isn't even the hard part yet. This ain't even the hard part. Hard part's next. Don't you see? Uh, can... He can make it. Oh my god. He moves so fucking fast. If we can get out of here this turn. That's good. He moves so fast, that guy. Easy. We took one hit, but it was on a shield, so it's meaningless. Rider and the first team should be waiting for you ahead. Alright, chat. This, wasn't the this is the hard part. I believe it'll still be worth it in the end. That depends on the Reapers. This is the hard part. We have to fight Chosen Chan. With limited gear and a rookie. <laughs> and pistols. <laughs> Pray we get lucky. We already know it's gonna be the assassin. This is why I've been saving grenades. So, 
Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Why'd you put quotes around Taking free? Off that helmet does not change what you put you actually air quoted free. What does that mean? Memories. Mux. Elder Cruxard. Anytime. I mean, yeah, he'd lose in the <laughs> That's a bit of distance to be drawing a sword. Or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. another like her they are the undying advent's curse upon us we must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success you are welcome to try your reapers face a being such as this all right they guys without this warning years suck. ago had they not we would have already regained our home <laughs> she doesn't proc Overwatch. I'm pretty sure. Elders will extend this the this lady. I'm fairly certain. Last I checked, doesn't even proc Overwatch, so there's no point bothering. No point caring on that. Uh, Cause it's not gonna matter. She's annoying. We have Claymore. Um. Which I don't usually use. We have one flashbang and one smoke grenade. Both smoke grenade was more for the getting here part, less useful now, unfortunately. Best thing to do is have everyone get in a pile right here and wait for her to come up to get us because she's a melee character by nature. We're gonna spread out a little bit and then we're just gonna gun them down when they come into melee range because they will inevitably Go for it. Okay. So we're all gonna get here and hunker. There's no point overwatching because they don't proc for this character. We don't have shadow anymore. That's how you get group stunned. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you missed the part where I said spread out or if you were just ignoring that part. I don't know if you were listening about that, where we spread out so we don't get group stunned. But yeah, that was sort of the point, is that we don't all get go. right next to each other. <laughs> so that she can't AOE us. We're spreading out in a sort of zigzag formation. With the hopes that uh, she will take the bait on one of us, and on our next turn, she will be unable to get out of the way later. Now, there are going to be other enemies that'll come up, but as long as we're in this sort of position in the middle of the subway, the odds are somewhat low that, you know, they'll actually be able to hit us without coming up here or being in an elevated area. Now, this character, these two are pretty close to each other, but that's because I'm hoping she'll go after one of these two. So, hopefully, that little packet of guys is going to be the target. Or it'll be Mox. We'll leave Mox on the edge here. Conquer him as well. This is, like, a pretty good spread. Um, I like this. This is, like, just wide enough that I think her AoEs aren't going to be able to hit him. Oh, no. Why don't you just run her over with a train? It's good. Uh, going inside the train while swell and probably pretty good for cover is probably just going to lead to her going right in there, getting frog. Eh, fuck. Frog, you got to reload your gun anyways. All right, moving. so basically we're just gonna let her approach now. There's gonna be ads. Yeah. So many. There she comes. She's very fast. Yet does not trigger Overwatch. Can enter Overwatch upon ending their turn. Takes additional damage from three plus attacks in a single turn. 
Well, that's how we kill him anyways, and takes increased damage from Reapers. And yet I Assassino! Never die. Assassino! And now we just hope she comes over here to kill someone. Or we guess where she is in Flashbanger, but... The, uh, that one's less likely. Can we get Mox to the kill hole? This is where I'm gonna position Mox, because I'm hoping she'll be dumb and go after Praetal Mox, who, without spoiling it, is the one I'm okay getting the most shit beaten out of. So I'm gonna move him up closer to where Assassino will be running because it's gonna be okay if he gets his shit pushed in so long as he survives. And the rest of us are just all gonna stand in a nice line and wait. This is fine for positioning, I think. If you cannot move on an open tile, it means there's an invisible enemy next to it. I'm aware, but um, uh, she's way too far away to be able to test that. I'm pretty sure. And she's still like right there, like around those garbage bags. But uh, yeah, I don't think they're in this wedge. Let's see if I can find them actually. I mean, this will take all, this is like actually like the antithesis of fun. This kind of thing, which is why I don't usually do this. And I just assume, uh, cause this is cheesy as shit. I'm not gonna do that on stream. That's like, that's a, that's a off stream. I wanna win really badly move. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure we'll be fine. I've taken down the assassin many times. They've taken the bait. He's dazed, which we saw coming. And she's crouching like an idiot right here. Nope, she's moving again. Back off, but that's fine. Because now we can... Now we know exactly where they are down there. They stopped moving right at that, at that thing. So now... We can start getting people on that ledge. Unfortunately, Grouxo's the one with the flashbang. Get someone over there to help them get back on their feet before that thing can move in and attack. Go ahead and... It's probably not good to use the flashbang just yet. I'm gonna start shooting at him. It's a shame we don't have the... I'm gonna do the other turns before I do Grouxo. Now that they've shown themselves, we can start getting a little bit wacky. Yoshi. The trick shot. Of course, the trick shot. What's the odds otherwise? 47? This is an 80% crit chance. Okay, three damage, that's fine. We're gonna slowly whittle them away. You have to do better than that. Uh, someone needs to get Mox. And that someone is going to be... Vault Reaper. says I am to obey. You should be and then we're going to move Mox towards the medic so that can be healed. I, I cannot hear them. You've come for your friend. An honorable, if not foolish decision. Let's split up from Mox a little bit so we don't get instantly fucking doing out. We don't want to be too close. Now let's move... I'm not going to be able to... Can I move Mox right now? I can. But he can't get all the way over. Moving. I don't think a Zumgi's going to be able to heal. He cannot. Oh, wait, no. Okay, Warlock. Warlock Paul also has a heal. That's fine. All right, we'll heal with Warlock Paul. Allá voy. Levántate y regresa y combate. Yeah, what this basically comes down to is do we get this person out of position horribly and just light them up because they'll start to, like, panic. But, um... Yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of like, it's just gonna be a lot of bullshit, unfortunately, killing this asshole. Just a lot of spamming shots, hoping that we just light them up with just constant attacks. And so far, uh, I probably should have done that first and destroyed that cover. They're out of cover, so unless they go for a melee, they're gonna move something weird. Okay, they're doing the AoE on Mox. Which is fine, because those two are not the people that are shooting at them. Oh, they're throwing! Chat, we got another thrower on the team! We got another thrower! 
They're just gonna stand there in Overwatch. Let's just break their cover again. Fuck them. We might miss, but they're just gonna stand there, so fuck them. We're gonna be blinded anyways, so there's not much we can do here. But we can split up so that we're not being lit up so much, you know? Let's hunker down. Uh, we don't have an aim from here, but we can get right next to Snorfed and probably get one. And we're gonna do another trick shot because, oh my god, I cannot believe I can do it every turn, huh? Every turn? Free two damage every turn, basically, off of that. I will not be deterred! Okay, I don't believe... She's right there. I don't think my blindness is going to reach there, so I think Borlock Paul stays hunkered down right here. Now, this lady is gonna get a shot and probably hurt head. this person quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Or miss it and get revealed. I mean, we we're already I revealed, I believe. It's okay. Best. You're not part of the team yet. It doesn't... It don't matter. Let's, uh... Let's just keep shooting at them. It's okay, these misses are irrelevant. We have another med kit. They're gonna disappear again and go in for another melee attack. The lost have yet to appear, which is good. And Frog has reconcealed, and our blindness is gone. Now, I will cheese it this time. Are they? I will check for them down here this time. Might still be just like, might still be standing right. It might be right there. Probably didn't climb up. I don't think she moved, but I can move there. I'm going to actually huck a flashbang right down there. I don't think they could have moved very far. I think. Unless I have some, unless they're up here already, which I don't believe they are. Went by the car, I think. No, I'm not getting any, I'm not getting any readings by the car. We'll never use the flashbang for anything other than this exact moment right now. So I think it's worth just flashbanging this fucking zone right here and then lighting them up the second that it's done. If they aren't here, then so be it. I'm not gonna use the flashbang otherwise. It's literally for this. So. Flashbang the toilets. A cowardly strike. Did you hit it? I don't think I hit them. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Uh, which means now we're gonna do the next play, which is uh, smoke grenade fuck you come get my tank and frog right next to them so that we can like fucking light you up next turn it's gonna force him to go after tank boy most likely which is what i'm hoping i need to reload reload and hunker down we're all just gonna hunker down and keep waiting i'm not gonna move them i'm not sure i want to move them into the smoke Specifically because I want Snorfed to be attacked, because he's got a ridiculous amount of armor. So I'm just gonna sh I'm gonna shield wall him, boost his defense even more, and just actually have everyone win. Not Mox again, bro. Mox. <laughs> How many times, dude? No. If only they'd stop attacking Mox. I plan on using him after this mission. No, God. God, please, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Please, not Mox. No, I'm gonna use him next mission after this. All right, anyways. <laughs> Yo, Paul, you wanna fucking shoot this person? No, hay problema. They're in Overwatch, but I don't think they're gonna have an angle. Oh my God, I don't have an angle from here? Are you fucking kidding me? They're right there. Uh, one of you has to be able to get an angle straight down, right? I mean, I guess I could, I don't really wanna get Overwatched. Well, it's time to go downstairs. Someone's gonna have to take a shot, and it might as well be snorfed that procs that Overwatch, because after that, we can very possibly light this person up. Uh, like, horrifically light them up. They're gonna be paced. So, um, snorfed is gonna run out there and get them in a stupid position. Activate the Overwatch, I think. They cloaked? 
Uh, did they? I thought they overwatched. I'm pretty sure that's just not in my sight line, chat. Because it would have said they're using the cloak. Uh, I just can't see them from here. Which is a different thing. Unfortunately, Warlock Paul's in a useless position now. Uh, can't Claymore down there. Well, uh, best thing we can do is keep moving people along this wall. I go where I am needed. And then move Snorfed down. Yeah, we can see him. Big cloaked! Tomato, you have to understand how cloaking works. How? Oh! Ah! I can't let that happen. I have again. expected something more. It's fine. It's not even a big deal. I'm not mad. Just like a professional sniper that can't hit a shot. We're baiting the Overwatch here, for the record. Uh, we're trying to bait it. Actually, does it even matter? Will I be able to get anywhere that really matters for that right now? Not really. They're in a terrible position. Snorfed has our healing thing. I should probably heal Mox because Assassin hates them. <laughs> we should probably use our turn healing Mox. And, uh, you know, making sure he doesn't fucking die, frankly. Get, get Mox up. Mox might be able to get a hit in on Assassin. Yeah, the smoke ended up not really working because I guess Mox wasn't officially in it. Why is it still saying? Okay, it was just a bug. Okay, well, Mox doesn't have a turn right now. Um, that's sort of a wasted cycle here. There's not really much I can do because of the angle. Unfortunately. Because uh, everything is just out of range here. If they don't cloak again, we'll get them next time, but I'd really rather not get us shot at. I'd rather get deeper into the smoke and have... Actually, I swear to God, Mox is in the smoke. It always was. Man, a frog could just get a fucking... Frog is hidden right now, chat. That's the thing about frog. Frog could get a shot. Frog, do you want to be a wild card? Keep ruining the- keep fucking making this asshole panic for me. And you- Oh, frog. They're coming back upstairs! What are they- They're throwing! It's okay, chap! They're doing the dumb move! I know it's done- it do it's gonna daze them, but that's fine. Because as long as they don't move too far now, oh my God, they've thrown. This was a big mistake for them. This was a colossal mistake for them. Oh my God. Well, let's light them up. Three damage from that guy. Overwatch has been removed. So now we're just gonna fucking run at them and fucking completely kill them. Not Don't you run away. So You're not done here. You Shit. Me, God, I wish I still had that flashbang right about now. You're gonna melee the someone again. Waves emitting from that pod or crisscrossing a massive area. They're done. Oh, they, they left. Did they lose? It says defeat the Chosen. We won. Oh, she's gone. We won. We beat her. I thought we had to kill her in this one. I forgot. I, was, I mean, I was ready to kill her. I was gonna claymore. Meaning that thing just ran. I mean, I, I was just gonna claymore them. Lost in the city. <laughs> accurate clouds. The entire lost biomass. We got clouds. This position. Then let's get you all the hell out of there. Firebrands en route to the evac coordinates now. Get moving. Let's get the hell out of here, Chad. So, uh, where's the horde? All right, Frog is concealed, okay? So don't worry about Frog. You should be worrying about all those lost that are about to eat shit by our hand. You understand? You should be worried about these clowns. You know, when I picked clown mod, I was like, I bet there's gonna be like a couple of clowns, you know? I was like, I hope there's only like a few clowns. I was unaware that it would be every single clown, you know? 
Okay, I was hoping that'd be full damage, but that's fine. Please kill. Nice. Oops, it ended up being 90% clowns. That went as well as I could have possibly hoped it to, chat. That one, that went extremely well. This goes to show that, you know, I'm the luckiest guy in clown world. Oh, that, is that a strong dasher? Oh, that's a dasher. That's why he's alive. Whoa, I thought it sent me to run down there. I would have been, I would have been mad if Groutso got robbed his chance to become a warrior on the team. All right, Groutso's off the fucking team. I've had just about enough of him. I think we've all had just about enough Groutso. Can we all agree we've had enough Groutso? Eh? I've had enough Groutso. Uh, I'm gonna overwatch. How's Echo nearby? It's time to leave, chat. That Dasher's gonna hit one of our guys. He's gonna hit Mox again. I really hope Mox doesn't fucking die. <laughs> no, Mox, please don't hit Mox. God, no, God, please don't hit Mox. No. Mox, please. Fucking please, stop hitting Mox. It's always Mox. As it should be. <laughs> if we're lucky, as it should be. All right, Mox, get up there. Time to move. How far are we going anyways? Uh, through this building. We'll go through here. So far I don't see any uh, loss, so I'm just gonna run it. Come on, everyone. Another swarm will spawn soon, but they'll spawn far enough away that we can use this turn to run as fast as we can. The building, Monka W. Chat, there's nothing wrong with hanging out in a, little in a couple buildings, understand? Dave? Dave? Was Dave here? Someone yelled something. Oh no, it's the bit again. I hate that bit. That bit's stupid. It sucks really bad. It's so bad, that bit. That's a really good bit, dude. Actually, in hindsight, it's really funny. Fuck, dude, that kills me every time. Busting my gut over here about that bit. But the cringiest bit you guys do on the stream. Easily the cringiest one. All right, Groutso. When I said the building, going through the building, oh my god, the building! Thousands of them are in the building! Right, come! Wait, was that it? Just like six guys? How many of these creatures can still be in this city? Advent has been sending purifier squads into these cities for years. That's Yet not as bad as I thought. Warlock Paul, fucking kill him. We do not Don't miss. Uh, you actually didn't kill him in one shot. What the fuck you doing, Paul? Paul Chan? I am at your service. Kill the kill the lost. Please kill. Please kill the lost. Remember Paul's been seriously fucking things. dropping the ball. It was a lost dasher? Oh my god! I must have miscalculated. <laughs> Can we have? Does everyone have some fucking musk muscle disease? Like, what is happening? Yo, Groutso just leveled up twice. Or he, I don't know. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. We'll just, we'll, yeah, bro. We'll, none of us will fucking hit that thing, dude. It's fine. We can use justice to guarantee it, which the I'm going to take. I'm not taking any more percentage chances on this bullshit. I go. Uh uh. No more. All right. The team's all here. Let's get the fuck through that. Oh my god, look at the pants though. We're getting close. We got another couple of... Oh my god! <laughs> it's a lost brute! 
That's actually super not ideal. Actually. Oh, uh, there's like a thousand lost coming from the building. I did not exist when this city stood whole. Still, I feel revolted. Way more time. He took the words right out of my people. mouth. I believe you. <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth on that one. Yep. Just gonna get a. Actually, we can't even reach him from here. We have to get closer. Fuck. I was hoping I'd be able to reach him. That's an unfortunate distance. This thing won't be able to reach us in one move. However. Where's my guy that's like closest? Is everyone about this distance? We should be fine. I do not believe he can reach us from here. So I think we business as usual do our thing. For now. Please, Groutso. Actually, Groutso, we're going to move back one. I don't trust Groutso to not uh, miss a shot, frankly. Okay, hit it. So, chat, uh, this costs, the Claymore is going to cost one action, so I can only move and then Claymore. I can't move Claymore, then shoot, correct? It's not free, so, yeah, I can't, I can't do that right now. One action. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's a shame, because this would have been good, this would have been a good spot for it, but maybe they'll, they shouldn't be able to reach this side of the room. We should be able to get this, like, mostly cleared out aside from that brute and then kill the brute. The point is that we don't want it to die near us or it will be a serious... It'll seriously harsh the vibe of the entire team. You'll understand why soon. Or maybe we might be able to kill it without it. If we kill all these other lost before it, we can finish it off. No problem. I'm going to spend my last shot with this on the brute. We might be able to kill it before it even matters. Uh, I'm taking these chances, but we have to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! Jesus, Jesus Christ! Oh Lord! Three. Whenever they get hit, they release like a poison. For context, that's why like he's getting all like weird and grody. Good news is, he might die. He's dead. We did it. Cool. That went also as well as it could have. Frog, get in there. Clean up the mess. We gotta go. We gotta go, guys. Everyone, follow Frog. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Go, go, go. I sure hope there's no one else in that area. With Frog, no! Alien activity! Oh, and there was a lost around that corner. That's unfortunate. Huh. This was about the worst possible outcome. Uh, for this. Actually sort of bullshit how this played out. The wait, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We got a turn. We got a turn. We're okay. Everyone calm down. Frog can clean this up quite easily like this. All right, Frog. Start giving them the business. Would be a good place for a Claymore. Oh, I know it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that's not really on the table. Because that character is too slow to get here in time. And by the time he does, Frog will have already killed the entire pack. Because, oh my god, Frog is a fucking killing machine. Frog, please, God. Leave some for the rest of the team, Frog. So, so one of them went around the corner. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the rest of the team up without, you know, I loaded these cartridges myself. doing anything weird. We'll wait for this poison to dissipate a little bit. This is all secure. Two more turns and we'll be out of here. That's one long sprint away for most of these guys. Bye. Frog is scuffed Doom Guy. Don't you fucking bring him down to Doom Guy's level. Frog is above that. Frog's incredibly powerful. I will watch. We'll pistol overwatch and all this stuff. In case one of those guys runs around the corner and really fucking tries to light us up. 
There's alien activity. Oh my god! Kill it! There's another one coming! Wipe that thing up! Alright, cool. Detecting additional lost converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise caution. It would Prime, the Warlock Paul up first. Strategy. It is the Elder's will that this alliance fall. It will take more than mere lost for Where that is to Frog? Happen. Frog's the one I want to go first because he's concealed. Frog, can you really not run around? Please don't go through the Shut poison, up. Frog. I want Frog to go first because there's a chance that he can reveal whatever. It's clear! They are lost, but they don't see us. Everyone move up. Last part of the approach, Chad. Everyone get on the wall. Go, go, go. Don't run through poison, though. Please don't run through poison. That wasn't what I clicked on, but it's not a big deal. Yes, it is. It turned out being, it was turned out to be a big deal. Snorfed. Really blew it there. Snorfed is seriously, seriously blew that no one. That was awful. Whatever, the rest of them will get out to the danger zone. No problem. I will Mox. I, God, I hope. I hope nothing happens to Mox. He's my favorite character. God, I fucking love Mox. Love that guy. Love Mox. Oh God, no, not, please, not Mox. Firebrand's in position, but the evac zone's even hotter than we thought. Running out of time here, people. You're Get running out of time here. She can. We will be there. One damage. No, well, right that's why we got another eight people. I'm not confident everyone could make it to the evac in time. That's why I'm shooting these guys. Like some of our backliners might struggle to get there in time. So. Gonna shoot the close dashers. Oh my god. I have never seen a Reaper miss this many shots before. Sort of pissing me off. And it's free XP, that is true. Good. Alright, Snorfed. You're gonna be the bait. If anyone is out there and wants to hurt us, they're gonna go after Snorfed. Everyone get on Snorf to use him as cover. Claro que si. Groutso, I'm gl I'm happy to say that you look it looks like you might have made it, Groutso. Groutso, I'm proud of you. So you came out know. here with me quite literally telling you you would never make it. That you were fucked, si doomed, me. never gonna get out alive. And now look, alive, carrying the group on your back. Truly an inspiration to us all. I sure hope you... Uh, we gotta make sure Mox gets in there, guys. <laughs> Everyone, just keep an eye on Mox, all right? We gotta make this guy's very important. Gonna wanna get him in the... Uh, gonna wanna make sure he gets to... He gets on the on the ride. Just in case. The sheer magnitude of the biomass converging upon this position is staggering. It's fine. We're out of here, Doc. We're out of here. Everyone got out. Let's get a round of applause for everyone. That got out. Cannot hold this position much longer. You keep saying that it makes me worried that Mox isn't gonna be okay. Mox is gonna be okay, I promise. Mox will be fine. See, he even said it. I will follow. See, he even said it. Go, Mox! You gotta get the fuck out of there! Oh. Teammates, friends. No, Mox, please, God, don't. No, and he's gone. Oh, man, it's too bad he was the only person in the entire game that took any hits the entire mission. Oh, no. Please. Jesus Christ. Please. It looks like we'll be getting some Chat. help from these new factions. I'd love to check out some of their weapons and equipment. Everyone has, ha, is pretty tired today. And you know, that makes sense. That was a long mission. 
But it's moment of truth for Groucho. Because <laughs> if Groucho fucking tells me, all right, if, Grou if I fucking, if I click on promote on Groucho chat, and it says requires Psy Amp, we fire him, okay? He gets fired. He gets thrown out of the building. He killed 13, chat, kills don't matter out of these. Let me make that clear. But Groucho did do good. He did a lot of damage on that Chosen, but let's see what that means. Oh my God. You're telling me we got a, we you're telling me this guy looked at frog and he said i want to do me too he's got gorilla i mean he's got medic which means chat frankly frankly as good as dual weapon specialization is i'm probably gonna give this guy a fucking cannon Or shotgun. Let's give this guy a shotgun and let him be our like actual. Cause, oh, actually, hmm. medical protocol is really strong. Like really strong. Like, uh, like, it means that gremlin can heal. It means that we can heal with the gremlin, which is fucking super potent. That's like, I'd say it's necessary that Groucho gets into that. But it doesn't matter because he's still only a squatty. He doesn't get any techniques. But he does have Gorilla, which gains plus five defense on sabotage missions. And uh, when fighting in isolated locales, as well as plus 10 crit chance and one CV, two MG and three BM. Armor piercing modifier on flank attacks. Very strong. All right, Dragon Nova. We're gonna have to rename this person, but they don't get any custom specialty things. These guys just get their normal talents. What does it mean isolated locales like forests? Not cities, not like urban. The resistance factions take a more flexible approach to They do have some overhauls though. They have some new stuff I'm pretty sure. You can often learn multiple new abilities with each promotion. They will adapt to follow your choices, commander. They've got shadow and claymore. Hollow targeting, any directed any directed vector rifle shot, hit or miss will mark the target, increasing your squad's aim by plus 15. That is pretty good, but so is uh, the bomb. I would say either of those are pretty good. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take a remote start. Uh, for start. That means that I can detonate an environmental explosive, causing it to deal double damage within twice its normal radius, which is uh, basically a pod wiper, as in we reveal something and the Reaper just says, I think later, and then it removes them from the game. We'll name that person in a minute. They're always welcome in my team. Snorfed. Protector. A shoulder to lean on in times of, in times of struggle. Allies within one tile gain plus five bonus aim. This bonus is increased to 10 when shield wall is in effect. I, these don't say they require anything, but I swear to God they do. I'll have to test it later. I'm not gonna give him anything that could fuck him up. I'll have to test that on another character. But for now we're gonna take shoulder to lean on because that's huge. Biotic amp. I mean, yeah, biotics is not Psy, is it? We don't need a biotic amplifier. So I guess these are probably different thing. Probably like the Templars, yeah. Hmm. The shield may be old fashioned, but it does the trick even against the alien's newer style plasma weaponry. Hang on. Biotic strength is measured the same way we measure bio bi psionic strength. Yeah, it's a different thing. And the stronger it grows, the stronger the biotics attacks will be. This ability also reflects a biotics ability to move faster with lighter weaponry. Eh. Here's the thing, chat. The combination of getting biotic strength and then biotic barrier on top of a shield makes Snorf sound like an ascendant demigod. We'll be able to afford it eventually. We get more AP. We could technically get two things for Snorf because of the XCOM AP we have and because he's gifted. So technically, that would work. What, Jesus Christ, what mod is Tomato using? RPGO, which is a very good 
Mon for character variety. I love it. Uh, a biotic infuses their abilities into a weapon, delivering a guaranteed shot with the primary weapon. Eh. Charge. Uh, travel directly to the target, delivering high amounts of damage and bypassing any Overwatch will stun and disorient nearby targets. That's, uh, that's, uh, pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. That's really good. That basically means we can force ourselves to be a cover point anywhere in a fight and allow any of our guys to basically flank someone by just getting near him in melee and instantly kill someone. I might take I might take charge. And I can still afford one more thing. Homing uh, can generate a series of rapidly shifting mass effect fields on a target, warping and rupturing the target with a homing attack. Oh my god. Well I gotta switch this guy to a shotgun now. Because of that. Uh shoulder to lean on. Shoulder to lean on is really good, is the thing. It's really good. But I sort of want to chase the biotic stuff. I sort of want to just play the Adept and Vanguard from Mass Effect. Which I just realized. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just play as Shepard. I'm going to take War. Or I take Biotic Strength. This doesn't really explain what it does. But I guess it boosts my mobility a bit, huh? He's pretty slow. It's between warp and biotic strength. I don't really want warp shot. Click? I'm not, does it tell me if I click on it? No, it does not. Click the yellow. Ah, here we go. Uh, biotic attacks, excluding singularity and annihilation field, will gain bonus amounts of damage for every 50 points of psi strength the biotic has. Uh, biotic gets plus three or plus four of mobility with weapons lighter than shotgun. Plus three for bullpup. Plus four for pistol. They also get plus 10 aim for a lighter weapon. That is gargantuan. All right, we're taking biotic strength and we're gonna switch his main weapon to a bullpup. Uh, yeah, and we can get biotic barrier next. Oh my God, when Snorf levels up again, he is going to be fucking unkillable. The wall. Chat, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Remember this. When you start thinking I've been, I'm too powerful. Remember what they did to me in the first mission of the game when you say, huh, this is too easy. Just remember what they did, what they tried to do, what the game tried to do to me. All right. When, when you say, it's too easy and tomato's never gonna be killed. When they sent two Lancers and a Priest at me, along with a packet of two Sectoids and two fucking Troopers in the first mission at the same time. Just remember that. Looking good, Snorfed. Frog. Is a Sergeant now. Explosives can destroy many cover objects. Eh. Leg shot. A special dual pistol shot that will reduce enemy mobility and potentially immobilize them. Deals half damage and cannot crit. Uh, we don't have any suppression, so it looks like leg shot's the only real play here. Had a breach. Breach is really good. Breach is really good. That destroys armor and uh, destroys cover. But if we invest in gun food and we take leg shot, then when we get bullet time later, it'll no longer end our turn. Uh, which will be really good. So we can attack, then move. I think we take leg shot. And Paul. Paul, you had a really rough day. Uh, Paul. So, um, I'm thinking combat medic, haymaker, ghost. Paul is a fucking mystery to me. I don't really like Paul's specializations. They don't feel like they're going to synergize very well with anything. But for now, we need two medics. Paul can have first aid that'll give him multiple medkit uses, which is gonna be helpful. Snorfed is now nicknamed Big Country, <laughs> which is good. I really like that one. Fat Frog Shady is uh, Frog's uh, name, and we gotta name the Reaper still. So we're gonna do that now. 
efficiently executed and no casualties. Big country. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Brother. Low supplies. That's fine. I knew I was going to be low supplies. No, praise God, Mox. Please, God. They sent us a poster. That's a poster. They sent us a fucking poster to hang up on a wall about it, chat. No. No, please. They sent us a fucking meme. We should talk to our friends with the Welcome, Dr. Mi Cha Yoon. If we deploy on a covert action, they can help us find out where our captured soldier is. All right, chat. Thank you. Someone has to be. To Someone has plan. to ascend. I will make you sure understand? they are put to good use. Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna be the Reaper? Yes. I can't do S names, even though I see Skrumpinski. I see your name. I see you. I respect you. But people will laugh and yell. Okay? I can't. I can't. Much as I'd like to. Imagine getting pick, says Miri Fey, being the one I pick. Congratulations. You're in. I'm doing double last name, like double first last name, just cuz. It's just how it's always been and how it always will be. Rigged. M name Omega, whatever. Shut up! Yeah, Alright, that's good. <laughs> Every new recruit will talk in Spanish forever. Alright. Let's really fuck up their visuals now. Totally random. Totally random. Totally random. Totally random. Totally random. Not really... Not extremely random. That was actually really good and I passed it. Oh... My god. It's that. Sergeant Rorschach, thanks for the five gifted subs. This is a look. Again, aviators and night vision goggles. I am not sure that's a good combo, but it's there. Splinter cell sort of thing. That's a robot arm? Nah, those are just, those are, it's ca they just have very small hands, so it looks like it's a robot arm. They just have short hands, you know, short, small hands. All right. And all these other schmucks, when I'm forced to take them in, which will probably be the next mission because most of our team is tired and wounded and tired and sleepy. Uh, I need to let my guys recover eventually, which means we're going to probably take in some schmucks. We're probably going to take some schmucks. God fucking rest their souls. You know what I mean? And I need to save my game, because it feels like it's been eons since I've saved. Where's Smile? Where's Nose Smile? There it is. I can't actually get it to it. No Smile safe. There. It's been a while since I saved. All right. Uh, Look, it's the weakest one. This guy's pathetic. Everyone can laugh at him. Look, he's even aiming now like an asshole, it but he doesn't know how to so shoot the gun. Easy. It's on It's on fucking safety all the time. Never seen him shoot it. Good to see you, sister. Miscreants, restrain yourselves. Oh, uh, that guy's actually scary though. No Let one laugh at him. Be restrained. No one, no one laugh at him. He's sort of scary. No. Three of us. Warlock is kind of scary. Something has changed. On that, we are agreed. The battlefield has shifted. Our masters have need of us once more. It just feels like a bunch of people LARPing. Sounds to me you know? Like they're like it just feels like a DD &D party talking. You dare defile this place? With your it just sounds like a bunch of D&D &D oh, characters, like, talking dear. together.
and then the DM comes in. That actually sounds like a fairly complicated request. Your job was to come a simple one, the complete annihilation of humans. I'd do it on a weekend if you gave me the time, I'm just busy. It's like when a, when a parent like asks their kid to like mop the floors, like mop the floor or like vacuum, and they leave like a bunch of fucking shit on the floor still after vacuuming. You're like your job was a simple one, just vacuum every room in the whole house without missing a single spot. Even I, I could do it in my fucking sleep. Oh, oh, God, our champ. We may never know what may have been because my Elgato has been doing all sorts of weird things lately. Hang on, let's just give it another replug and it'll probably fix itself like nothing. Hi. Good news is I saved because it seems like what happened was the game crashed and that confused Elgato, not Elgato having a problem, the game crashed. So it's a good thing I saved. So that's a good thing. Anyways, we'll launch it back up and uh, just skip that cutscene this time. Save it. The game hates cutscenes. Well, the game's starting, which it is. Uh, it'll look like that for a minute, but don't worry. It it'll open. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Don't do anything to my desktop. Back at perfect fucking time. Nerdwad, I saw what. No, you fucking didn't. Shut up. Chad, I thought about something while I was taking a piss. I thought, why don't we raise the stakes for permadeath? If I'm not going to lose soldiers, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Every single stream that I go. Okay. Where no one dies. The length of the permanent ban, well, the permanent ban, quote unquote, will be doubled upwards to a cap of 14 days, which is the maximum length that you can time someone out for. Every time that no one dies, the risk climbs until it resets. So if someone were to die after no deaths for a couple of sessions, they could be timed out for 14 days and the next ones would be reset back at the three day original limit. So that there's some fucking risk. If someone goes down, that's unfair as shit. You would yell that as a guy with a fully lowercase name with one number in it, which who have not given me $5. You would yell that in all caps. No one's died. No one's even been in danger. I didn't realize I was, I mean, pe here's the thing. People are going to die in like another couple missions. Once we do, uh, once we start traveling off world, like off the zone we're in right now, and we start doing some weird shit, that's when the stuff gets spicy. Skip. Commander. Yeah, I think my, I, if it is my Elgato, I think I just need to restart my computer, my, my streaming one. I don't ever restart it because <laughs> I'm afraid of Windows updates. So I, I usually just ignore it and put it into sleep mode. It hasn't restarted in a long time. It keeps yelling at me. Please. All right, chat. You are all welcome here. 
Thank you, Volk. You're very kind. I actually really like your beard now. This alliance of yours, but from what I hear, this skirmisher, Mox, was captured protecting one of my own. Reapers have long memories, Commander. We will honor okay, our man. end of the deal. Volk, out. Your tenacity could prove your undoing, Commander. If you the void, Queen. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'll, 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 you'll die. You're gonna lose to me. Let's get back up there. I want to get those supplies from that battlefield. Avenger, We're low on resources. Gotta get those supplies. Let's get back to work. This was a long distraction. That was all one big mission. Like two hours of one big mission. It's done! Guys! Bro! We can get five people in the squad now at once, which is really good. Oh, I don't have enough fucking supplies. <laughs> I've never been this poor before. It's fine, we'll get it in a minute. It's because I started building that power relay before I got this. We should get it in three days. Our research was a success, Commander. All right, we got the re resistance communications. Which is good, because that's the next facility we're building is resistance comms. So we can uh, contact more areas, which unlocks more areas of the map, which unlocks more missions, which unlocks more fun, which unlocks more money, which unlocks more intel, which unlocks more chances for chat to fucking die. Which unlocks exciting interactions with chat, which boost my SEO and exposure on Twitch.tv. During the course of our research, we made a startling breakthrough. Interactivity, that led us digital to another marketing. potential avenue of study. However, if we are to proceed down this path, I right, shut up. I don't know why I'm listening to you. Immediately, or I fear we will lose our opportunity. Training to center. To it a reassessment future. of planned training methods will lead to a 50% reduction in the cost of building the training center. Uh, training center is. I don't remember what that does specifically. Static, uh, geeked. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Chat, I am open to advice when it comes to research because I don't, I, a lot of it's been changed by mods, so don't even expect it to be the same as what you, you would get in a normal game. But, um, trains rookies? Oh, that'd be good. Actually, yeah, I guess might as well. We have the admin timer doubled, so we're not in as much of a rush. But I do still need to get those cybernetics soon because they start getting alien alloys in the field, which I believe we get pretty soon. Don't do autopsies. I already know not to do the autopsies. Uh, I'm pretty sure those just, you know, those will just, we get those for free eventually. We're gonna do the break. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority. All right, Commander. asshole, don't act like you know me. All right, let's get that out of the way Commander, right away. Now that members of the resistance factions have joined us on the Avenger, I thought you might want an All right, can we clear this? To organize and plan clear that thing. Together. Um, clear, uh, clear this one too. Give me some alien alloys. Keep excavating. Excavate everything. I need those alien alloys so I can make cybernetics. God forbid fucking someone is missing their arms or legs. We'll do the autopsy for that guy for the objective after We can now work to establish contact. But since we're on Avatar Project Double, that's not speaking of deal. Can I be named after an engineer? Once collected sufficient intel to make contact. You'd never die. Scan the target region for the operative. That's like signal. Weenie Hut Jr. shit. I would I would pick on someone. That guy named as an engineer. All right, we've unlocked some new areas and let's get the supplies right now, post haste, so we can build a strategic resource located. Also, we can build our, you know, get that, get that squad enhancement. Here we go. Check it out, chat. I don't know what this is. I can buy this blank thing for free. Do I buy it? <laughs> I don't know what this one is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on it. Uh, I got it. I don't know what it was, but I got it. I have no idea what that thing was. But well, now we can have five people in our squad, which is um pretty fucking poggy woggy poggers, dude. You guys know what I mean, chat? Is that cool to say that? Is that cool? Is that epic? You guys, uh, is that epic? Epic. Let's go to New India. 
After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes uh, out. Ah, fine. Once I don't need money. Then we'll be up and running <laughs> in the new region. Who needs money? When's the last time I haven't spent any? What are, what are, what are these guys asking for, like, pay? Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a Hang on, I want that, bro. I'm getting out of this region. I see no, no, do the, do the contact. I don't care about that. Road traffic. Traffic, is, traffic won't be traffic. going anywhere. It's traffic. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. Oh no. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. I got to do this fucking like mission, mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Enjoy it while it lasts. Right now. <laughs> this guy's in on it. Global. Sir, Command is an alien. It. Enjoy it while it lasts, he says right before the aliens come and kill him. Years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us... That guy is probably a lizard person. I'm pretty sure in lore he's a sectoid. Truth. But like one of the one of the sectoids from XCOM One. Multiple radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha Seven. That must end. Even he said, "Among us, bro." Coming on approach. That's bro. Bro, dude, he said it. He said it. They knew, dude. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. How the fuck do you misinterpret that? Fucking run. I don't understand what that means, Avenger. The whole sentence Your cooperation what an idiot. will overcome these radical elements and usher in an I don't know what that means, Avengers. And prosperity. They don't He's a thin sense. man. I know, that's what I meant. I meant thin man. Commander, we should get a squad ready. I, I knew that. I meant that. That's what I said. I said that. You said sector. Dude, that guy sus, dude. <laughs> That, that one's gonna be sus as shit. That's the imposter, dude. He's gonna be in the game, dude. Currently under siege by the dude, aliens. that thing's gonna be in the game, Give dude. Give the word and we'll move out. Well, our next operation will put us right in the middle of chosen territory. And commander. avoid queen. There's a good How tired do you think my guys are right now? Because so I'm, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send in some fucking rookie losers to a mission like this. How cognizant are all of you? Oh my god, only two of us. Okay, hang on. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but you're getting the fuck out of here. I'll take him sleepy. For this one, I'm taking him sleepy. How tired? Frog's barely tired. He's actually 50%. Okay, hang on, actually. Groucho can go fuck himself. He's coming. All right, Groucho, you're coming. You're coming. I'd also like Snorf if I can afford Snorf. Music, be quiet for a moment. So probably a lost is what the chosen are going to come again, which means I'm going to have to kill the lady again, most likely. Odds are very high. It's also an open area, which means uh, Frog is less helpful here. Snorfed will be very helpful here. So I'd like to take Snorfed, even if he's a little sleepy. And for our fifth guy, we'll take a new character. Fifth guy will be a new character, because I want these other two to rest. So we'll take one of these assholes, Tracy Watson, who is going to be renamed, who wants to be a fucking loser. This character's going to suck. Send in all recruits? Yeah, that's suicide. Uh, that's not happening. Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. Don't even say it. Don't even say it. He has a better name than you. He has a be If you want to fucking whinge about it, he has a better name than you. Get a better fucking name. All right? Get a better fucking name. Your name sucks. Your name sucks. All right. Guess this 
país inmoxiónicamente protegido. This is going to be so bad. I hate, I prefer my guys learning through intel and not going in low level, but I mean, they look like they're strong. Visually, this character's tough. I like it. No. So this character, if they die, I won't lose any sleep about it. So um, they're going to be kitted like an asshole. So I'm talking frag grenade. Yeah, basically this. They're already kitted and ready to go. Is there any gun? Do I want to swap the gun, though? Oh my god. God! Fucking Schwampson! These rookies are so terrible! I hate them! I hate them! Whatever. Good news is, Mary Faye should carry us pretty good. They're really strong. Snorfed. Gotta switch his weapon to a shotgun now. Oh yeah. And also, mod that shotgun. With an auto loader. Yep. Oh yeah. Snorfed. Oh yeah. No bullpup, remember? Oh yeah. Someone else will get the shotgun. That's fine. That shotgun, we want a guy with a shotgun auto loader anyway, so that's A okay. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. We'll probably give the shotgun to Groutso then. Because I don't want this guy using a Kimbo, frankly. Groutso's already got the auto loader here though. What's Groutso's perks again? Because I remember saying I don't want him using a Kimbo later. He can use it for this mission, but. After that, we're switching him off of Akimbo because he's going to be using a gremlin with medical protocol. All right. Uh, yeah, we can give him double pistols for now. It's stronger. Stronger than alternative options. Akimbo sawed-offs? I don't think it works like that. I don't believe you can do an Akimbo sawed-off. They can't even put it in the primary section. It's got to be two pistols. Yes, yeah, see? He no longer carries it at that point. Gotta be two pistols. He's ripping off Frog's deal. All right. Bullpup, pistols, shotgun, vector rifle. Schwamson has to use a primary auto. Uh, but we're gonna make sure he's using the auto loader one anyways. It's more responsible that. Now, uh, let me just take a look here at uh, upgrades. See if there's anything else I can give him. No. Technically, swatch, swip, uh, swip, swap, switch, swatch. That's fine. Everything. This team should be fine. Or they're all gonna die. Really? If we lose, I completely wholeheartedly blame Schwamps. Easy difficulty, you'll be fine. If you haven't seen the beginning, the first mission I did today, which was very easy, uh, you wouldn't be saying that if you had seen that. No such thing. I have had first round, first mission pods of dual stun lancers and a priest, along with two sectoids and two troopers in the same fucking turn, all activate at the same time because they were all bundled in a little corner together hanging out, playing like Yahtzee or something. We're going. No more delaying. Switch Zoomki's shotgun. Oh yeah, Zoomki uses a shotgun. Didn't I want to switch Zoomki off of that? I like just turning around, making him switch. This, is, this game works like Darkest Dungeon. If I'm forgetting to do something with my loadouts, just yell it to me, because I will forget, like, Darkest Dungeon, and then regret it once I'm in the fight anyways. Uh, okay, switch to the good shotgun. I wanted to switch him into, uh... Sword build exclusively, but I don't think they're ready yet. There was a reason I didn't want to do that yet. Yeah, there is, there is a reason I didn't want to do it yet. 
Make sure you're carrying torches. Thanks. Wasn't she gonna be melee empty? I mean, I definitely don't want to do it here. The shotgun's good. Shotgun's really fucking strong. I don't really want to... Shotgun in a map like this, shotgun's gonna slap. I'm gonna take my chances with the shotgun. Especially with the fucking assassin, assassino around. I prefer to take my chances with the shotguns. Now, I wouldn't mind one of our guys. Who the fuck are these two? It reset my team. Where's Groutso? Groutso and Snorf. Snorf's got a med kit, as he should. Let's do this. Everything's looking good. Let's ride. They want to go really badly. They'll fucking die. Chat, there are missions where it's okay to bring rookies. This one, I'm not feeling it. If you've played XCOM, if you, any mission where you know Lost are coming is begging to lose characters. Like, if you don't pack properly. You know? You can't dual wield auto pistols, it, chat. You can trust, 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 trust. Word just came down. The just aliens trust me. A huge force to just have to have a little bit of faith, Arthur. And those people Let's get in there and save those guys. Resistance Haven, We're Liberty Canyon, the East Asia. And secure the area. You know, the one thing I always thought was missing about XCOM is the fact that no matter where you are, all of the buildings are the same. Every. I don't, I've, always, I've always thought that was the weakest part about this game, is that they design like cities. They all look like the same thing. <laughs> There's only one culture in the future and it's like boring. It's not a huge deal, it's just like, my time's not gonna have to look at the same fucking sheds. Oh my God, no way. One of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance yeah. encampment in this area. You gotta neutralize all targets. They can to fight back. Chat. We need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Right there. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. See, Chat, what's lucky is sometimes the resistance are so good that they can kill everyone for you while you just fight the chosen. I've had situations like that in the game. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just take my take my easy climb here and just get to this roof, like, immediately. I must At full speed. Let's see what there is to be seen up here. This is a good spot. That will be a good spot. If you say so. But, uh, yeah, I don't plan on really running anywhere. We're not concealed. But, um, get up here. We can. I'd rather be upstairs, yeah, even if it's shitty cover at the beginning for Groutso. See if anyone can see us. No one can, but if we walk any further that way, we're gonna activate a pod, probably. So, I don't really wanna... Really can't get up? Oh yeah, because Groutso's blocking the thing. Uh, let's go right here. Okay, been on that X. <laughs> Big country. Snorfed. Big country. Overwatch on him. Let's move Azumgi up to be right next What's to him. We don't need everyone shooting because we're not going to get in combat this round. There's a lot of good map mods that help with the generic maps, my man. I know, and none of them work with Wrath, uh, with War of the Chosen that I could find. I did my research uh, pretty extensively, and most of them include fucking 18 comments that say this doesn't work anymore. Fix it, and the modder just not looking at it because they don't mod anymore. So, yeah, that's not on the table. Most people didn't, yeah, I mean, mods, when they, when you get expansions, you have to hope that the modder is gonna come back and update it. A lot of time, they don't want to, and that totally makes sense, and I don't blame them. Experando. We're gonna not do anything crazy here. We're gonna try to be sort of cool. We are gonna move Schwampson up, because Schwampson, you're fucking, you're a decoy, motherfucker. So you're going up into crazy spots that are stupid. All right, Schwampson? Because I want you fucking doing something for us. We got sectoids! One, actually, just one. I thought usually you'd get like a bundle. Just, just one. Sectoid. 
Shoot that guy. Unfortunateness. Just kill this one asshole. Where are you aiming at? Oh my god. There's multiple sectoids. It's like in any second now, five shock troopers are gonna fall from the roof. And really give me the business. That'll be really fun. All right, we got an angle on this guy. 43. All right, Grouch. So let's see if let's see how you do against the sectoid. Your frog did really well against sectoids. Let's see if you can do better. Oh my God. Oh. I'm good. How's the range on Shark? Yeah, I mean, I thought we discovered that guy already, but I guess now he gets... Oh my god! <laughs> He's got a friend! We could charge and beat the shit out of this sectoid, but I'm not really feeling it yet, you know? And let these other guys get a little bit closer to the fight. These humans need to fucking move. There's like a lot of people in the way. Like this person's hogging good cover. I don't really want to use a car. What with how cars do. I think we all just go under the roof. Trampson, just overwatch for us. We're about to, uh, old, old, uh, Miri Faye's about to fucking take care of these clowns in another turn. They don't, they don't even know what's about to fucking happen to them in another turn. They have no idea. Okay, let's not blow that up. All right, let's be cool. Okay. We just want to wait here another turn because in a minute we're going to light these folks up. There's no reason we'd get revealed, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay. Uh, is that the edge of the map? No. I was going to run full speed over to that side, to that tree. So Azumi could start moving up because they're way behind everyone else, but it's uh, it's not going to happen just yet. We're going to have everyone just I'm go on the roof. Fuck these civilians. We can let fucking 19 of them. Like, we can let like, a bunch of them die. Okay, so we're going to let them. We're going to let a bunch of them die. Okay, we just want to get everyone into like range. Uh, I, I guess that'll be okay. Can't even see anyone anyways. So I guess I think I'm just going to shoot at them from here. I'm not going to charge yet because I'm not. I don't feel comfortable that I'll get help from that guy. Whoever that blue guy is, he's going to get killed by these sectoids. I'd rather it happens like that. Unfortunate, but I knew it was coming. So it's not, it's not, I don't feel a loss from that. I knew it was coming. And that guy's fucking dead. Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces. Just ignoring our forces? Bastards down. That guy just got gooped. Don't fucking run. Well, uh, hey, good news is these guys are all going to be really easy kills now if they're ignoring our forces because, you know, not really, they don't really know I'm here. Oh my god. Groucho, you are the fucking pit, Groucho. 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 You are the worst. Adelante. Oh my god. He's so bad. He's fucking terrible. Okay, if we hit this guy with this, then we can charge with uh, our tank. Good. All right, all right. Ken, is there a possibility that we can see this sectoid if we play our cards right on this point? Yes. Well, I'm gonna shoot him. We have had a really bad start to this level. And we're revealed. Okay, this might be the worst start to a level I've had in a long time. Well, one thing I can do is... Oh, we can't reach with a swing. Oh, that's fine. We're going to kill this Advent Trooper before he becomes a problem. Wow, blew up our covers somehow, huh? Oh, more specifically, one of our covers. That's fine. We're about to charge this guy. It's gonna stun them. Hopefully we don't charge into another pack of the guys, but we probably will. But if we don't ever use moves, where are you? 
Did you stun him? I guess we just sort of a Maiwa this guy. I think we missed. But that's fine because he's gonna turn around and realize he's in big he's in big trouble. Oh my god, you actually didn't fucking kill him with that. Wow, this is a really good round so far. This has been going really well. I hope fucking I hope that asshole dies. I hope you kill Schmungus. Whatever his fucking name is. I hope he bites it. There's a large I have to keep shooting at Schmungus. Down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those Can we just people? kill these aliens? Like ASAP? Can we flank this guy? It's such an ill-advised flank. Can you just fucking kill this thing? <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh my god! All you had to do was run at him! This truly is a joke. It has to be a funny fucking joke. Thank God someone did something. Now, Groucho. Do your fucking job and flank this sectoid for me. All right? It's not a flank, but it's gonna hurt him a hell of a lot. And you missed half. That's okay. Because old Schwamson's about to end it. I won't lose any sleep if Schwamson dies, which is why I'm sending him up. I'm not surprised, Schwamson. Good news is the sector will probably spend a turn running away. Yep. That's like a double move. Yeah. Oh, as an advent stunt lancer, that's actually timing appropriate now. That's supposed to happen. That's normal. That's normal. We're going to be watching civilians run around for a little while, I think. Yeah, there they go. They're all one at a time running off. They're going to all reposition. I installed a mod which makes the civilians not be idiots, but it does make them scamper for a little while. Scamper. Everyone panic orderly fashion. Orderly fashion run into the distance and reveal more stun lanes. Yeah, don't, don't panic that way. Big mistake if you panic that way. Don't do that. Is that? Oh, so that's uh, three stun. Okay. That's fine. I've killed those guys easily before. I'm unconcerned about stun lance. That's normal. Now, if these guys could get a hit and start killing them, hell yeah. Start whittling them down for me and everything will be fine. We're just counting on these resistance guys to uh, hit them. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Kill them. Light them up, my friends! Light them up! Blast them! Give them the business. Okay, I gotta heal Schwampson. Uh, after this, I'm gonna fucking kill this sectoid so bad. I'm actually... What Groucho's doing is extremely ill-advised, okay? I just want to preface all of this by saying that. Okay? Do not be a Groucho. Because I'm gonna make Groucho run after this asshole and fucking hunt him down like a psychopath because I want him dead so bad. Like, there is no outcome here. Who's our- who's got our healing thing? Oh, it's our tank. We're nowhere near that. Okay. Yo, Schwampson! <laughs> Go hang out by the tank. You'll be fine. Just don't walk in any fire. I wonder if I have a shot from here. He's not even in cover. But there's a tree in front of him. Fuck. I might have a shot from here. Marcando. I'll decide what I'm gonna do once I get down there. No. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna overwatch Explorando. because I get the weird feeling this guy's gonna be running away like a pussy in a second. Because On the move. I'm gonna make Groucho do something stupid. He's gonna have to keep running. 
because I am going to... Groucho is about to get pretty in his face here. Uh, without that tree, it would be perfect. If we get right here, it might be okay. It's stupid. Yeah, it's reckless. It's ill-advised. 49% chance. All right. Groucho, against all odds. He is so fucking bad, Groucho. He's the fucking worst. He hasn't hit a thing. But it scared him into running. And telling on... Telling on us to his advent friends. Man, you guys are doing real good hiding. It's a good thing he missed somehow. <laughs> you guys are doing a really good job getting away from those advent. <laughs> yeah, did that one just do the splits? Is he doing the splits there, dude? I think I saw that guy doing like a splits thing. All right, you guys got to kill some of these folks for me. Kill them. Nice. Yeah, take them down. All right, half of the civilians are dead. We got to get in here. Yeah, light these guys the fuck up, dude. Light these guys the fuck up. Fuck yeah, dude. Light these guys up. These guys are all more effective than Schwamby Bambi. Oh no. My fear of stun lancers. <laughs> I think I heard the sound of a stun lancer over there. Okay. Does this count as full cover for both of us? Because at this point, I'm getting pretty pissed at Frog. I mean, Groucho, the Frog ripoff. I sort of want to just run him right up here and fucking blast this guy. But I'm wondering what our percentage chance is going to be. <laughs> Probably not ideal. The best play is to sit right here. Claro que sí. And Overwatch, because he's going to have to approach us. Well, that's happening. But Shadow on Outrider. On old, on old Miri, okay. And send them up in Overwatch as well. Generic brand frog, yeah. We might be able to kill him right now, that'd be nice. Not gonna happen. It happened! Oh baby, it actually happened! We killed something, and we didn't get revealed! That never happened. All right. The enemy, there are enemies over there. That's it, that right there, chat? is a faceless. <laughs> that guy is faking it. I can tell you that fucking one of these two is faking it. And I'm nervous about which one. I don't really want to move up too far because of it. Let's move up to this point. And over. If a faceless does show up, he's going to get, you know, the business. And while that's happening, we'll run up a Zoomgi like a psycho. Because that shock trooper... You know, I, I have a good feeling this guy's actually cool. This one right here. So I'm going to run... This is, this is how a Zoomgi fucking dies. I'm going to get ripped in half by a faceless. We're fine. Oh my god, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Not fucking shocked. Good hiding spot. That was actually a pretty good one. It's unfair that he saw you. Why even bother? Why ever overwatch in this, in this mod? Why bother? Why ever bother? We've never hit an overwatch. We only get punished for overwatching. We're much better off never doing it. Shoot at something. Shoot that guy, kill that fucking sector. I'll handle the rest. We can't let more than four more people die. We have to clean this place up now. Next turn, we start fucking clearing. That stun lancer in the truck never moved. All these guys are about a shot, like one shotgun shell away from dying. Did he die? Did he actually die? I don't even see it. But whatever. A faceless is gonna be climbing out of here soon. And eventually we're going to have to deal with the Chosen as well. So there's one shock guy there. Reload this thing. 
and move up to here. We'll provide cover for uh, for our boy. I reckon. This guy's I'll safe. This guy ain't gonna face us, I don't think. All right, Schwampson. I need you to start getting some hits in. There you fucking go, Schwampson. There you fucking go. There you fucking go, Schwampson. That's how we do it, Schwampson. Carefully and smoothly, Schwampson. Okay, this isn't a terrible spot. Chat, there... We know one of these fucking guys is a faceless. I think it's that one. Because it shouldn't be this one. He's too close and hasn't activated yet. But an ideal position for Mirifei would be on this roof. This is like a primo position. There's a... This could backfire. Catastrophically, this guy is sus as shit. Gamble it. The gamble! Boy. Gamble it! We're concealed. They shouldn't be able to see us. We're invisible. We're okay. We're also gonna send up a zoom gate. Okay, I'll go. Hopefully they get a shot on that trooper. They can, and they will take it. One damage. Damn, we're doing good damage today. Wow, dude, that's fucking epic. This guy's the one. It's gotta be this guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's him. That's him, officer. This guy's been acting sus for a while. That's him. I'm not going anywhere near him. This is full cover somehow. I'm not sure how, but uh, it is. Get blasted. Please! How have you not killed him yet? Advent troops here. Oh my God. We're being fucking flanked. Schwimsy, no! Oh, you shot the... <laughs> we can't lose more than three more people or we're in big trouble. It's a good thing everyone's wait... Uh, Schwimsy, the, resistance team is the clear. fucking the other NPCs are doing better than you. They've done more damage than all of us. The NPCs have literally done better than our entire team. Oh my God. This cannot be fucking happening. These, all of my team, my whole team's grounded. We're all gonna be grounded. This is unbelievable. I can't fucking believe this is happening. This can't be happening. It actually, I can't fucking. Oh my God. Shoot him. Just shoot him. Or miss. Uh, it's a par for the course for you guys at this point. Alright, that's 27% chance on that. Are you sure, Schwamson? Is that. Are you sure that's a 20? Not really sure you can hit that. <laughs> I'll grenade it. I was saving these for the lost, but I guess I'll grenade him. Granada. I was saying I'm not the lost, the chosen. I was saving him for the chosen. But uh looks like I'm not being given much of a choice. Hey, Marta. Please kill. Please kill. Yeah, no le da dos. Eh, no, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna cut him in half instead. That won't kill him and he'll end up... My character's scared of that kind of thing. I don't know if I should do that. What's my odds to shoot? One damage, huh? Because it's a shotgun, that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna run up and cut him. There's a higher... It's a... There's a two out of three chance that we kill him. Azumki says do it. I'm gonna do it. Besides, I'd rather Azumki fucking die at this point than one of the other characters. Azumki's really been blowing it today. Nice job, Azumki. Right there. Nice! We got him. We got him. We got him. I got it, right? We got him. We got a stock and some other shit. It's heavier than it looks. I knew he was faking it. I fucking knew it. Good news is we're all in perfect positions to kill this asshole. We can't get anywhere. 
That's why I didn't go to that section. Something was off about him. No one was shooting. He was in the middle of the fight and no one was shooting at him. There was something weird about that. Guys, shoot it. Shoot the thing. Remember, uh, the resistance are always better than my characters. That'll be a recurring thing. What's wrong with you? Why are you yelling, Azumi? Azumi just started screaming, and I'm not really sure why. We can't see this guy from here. I guess we'll. we'll I'm gonna need some help over here. Where'd he go? Chat, where'd he? Where'd the faceless go? Chat. Where'd that face just go? Just... Just go here. Don't make me see him. He's right there. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. Can't miss it. I'm guessing this is it. How the fuck? Did you miss something that big? He's so big. He's so, big. He's so, so big. Don't even think He's about it. He's colossal. He's colossal. Just overwatch it. At this point, everyone just fucking. This probably isn't a safe place to hide uh, next to the gas tanks, but I've got faith that it's not gonna blow up. It's been on fire for a long time, you know? Nice. Okay, folks. I'm gonna give you guys a send it cover. He's not gonna, he's slow. No, he's not gonna make it that quickly. And he should die, if we hit him right now, he should die in the open. Our luck had to run out eventually. It's a good thing we had Overwatch. Wait, the, yo! The Lost didn't even show up! What a l fucking loser! They were scared. Another fucking. Perfect mission. No one was surprised. Chosen one late. I might actually kick it up to legendary next time I play. I might I might take it up a notch. It's been fairly it hasn't been that bad so far. Legendary is mostly bad at the very beginning. I might tick it up. I mean we lost most of the civilians, almost everyone died. It was a massacre. But yeah, the resistance also did carry, that's true. We didn't really do much. Matter of fact, if I check the mission debriefing. Azumki hit everything, I don't believe that. I feel like, what was I mad about with Azumi then? Because they were the MVP. What did they do wrong that pissed me off? They did something that pissed me off. One damage. Oh, yeah, it was the one damage. That pissed me off. Uh, Groucho is fired. Groucho is actually fired. Most high. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, my God and snorfed. This was Snorf's best, worst day ever. Best because look at that. Worst because, oh my God. You know what I mean? Schwamson, colossally forgettable. And Mirifei, passable. one-off character. Well, chat, here's the thing. He was good against Lost, which are basically like stationary idiot targets. They're idiots. They can't fight. We were we were grading him 45% hit chance. Oh my god. 45% successful shots. Fucking imagine that happening, dude. That's like Stormtrooper aim. Would it have been would have been different if Frog was in? It would have. But we needed Frog to rest up. He needed a break. Should have let them take a nap. It wasn't even the people that were tired that were missing. Schwamson, stay in your fucking pit. You can stay. You can stay there. You can you can stay there, ravely wounded in the fucking like. Lobby as long as you'd like. You're never coming back on the team unless your stats are good. Hey. Uh, we got Scrapper, another dual weapons guy. Everyone keeps looking at the Akimbo guys and they're like, "Fuck, dude." <laughs> that looks badass. <laughs> everyone, 
Every single person on the team is using these Akimbo guns. Everyone's looking at Frog and they're like, fuck, I want to be Frog. Move to an enemy and strike with both weapons, dealing normal damage, pistol whip. Trigger guard, gain passive plus 20 aim bonus to all melee attacks while dual wielding firearms. Dirty kick. Electrified spikes. Stun thing. CQC melee akimbo. Short range sniper rifle shots point blank. Hunter, stalker, first strike, anatomy. This, this guy could be good. Knocking out targets, picking up or dropping bodies does not cost an action point. Do not end your turn. And, scra and survive it. There's an empty look in the soldier's eyes. You see, he's hit a thousand yard stare. When critically wounded under 25% HP, gains a massive 25% damage bonus to all attacks. When fighting to defend something, gains a massive damage bonus to all attacks. How massive is massive? This bonus does stack. Frog too, because I'll tell you who ain't frog anymore. Fucking Groutso. Yeah, Groutso, you're a uh, you're a medic now. Getting medical protocol. You're a uh... you're done. You're done. <laughs> you're done, Groutso. You're done. You're never uh, you're never doing that again. Fuck you. Everything else is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good here. Lots of stuff. Got lots of bodies. Just cut its head off and put it on a wall. That definitely doesn't make us look like psychopaths. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue oh. to bolster the resistance movement across oh. the globe. Say more things. Say more fucking things. Mental fatigue starts to impact our soldiers' tactical effectiveness when they don't have a chance to rest. We should give them a few days off to recover if we can manage it. Snorf needs a break. Snorf, I can give you a break. Only because when I look into your eyes, I actually think you're about to strangle me. Like his eyes, he looks like a demon. Look at his fucking face. He didn't used to look like that. He's gotten really fucking spooky looking lately. I don't remember him looking like that. <laughs> He's been, Snorf has been a hard, I think even though Snorf misses a lot, it's just because of the shield. Like, the amount he can do on the battlefield makes him so versatile that, like, I want to bring him every time. I'm sorry, insurordinate. Insurordinate? From Snurfed? Who was that that was insurordinate? Also, this is Grizzly. I've always thought it was weird that they put this in the game. This is fucking grisly. You walk in, you see this. Like. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these soldiers. Who's got the fucking problem? Schwampson, where's your issues? Oh yeah, I can boost their stats, by the way. That's an option, but it costs AP. So we're not fucking with that stuff right now. But I can. You can also boost combat stats. I'm not getting any of those. I just want to see, uh, I want to see that debuff. How do I see their debuffs, Chad? Soldier abilities? I just want to check their debuffs. I don't remember how to do it. Will it be listed? I think Snorfed had something. Insubordinate. In, sorry. Insubordinate. Chance to cause panic among the squad when up against deadly odds. I'm assuming I can- Oh my god, he's shaken for 16 days? Well, Snorfed is out of the fucking team for a little bit, which is fine. We can- we we have more guys now, we have options. We'll be okay. Me right <laughs> Just hanging out, staying comfy in bed, having a good time, taking it easy. Had a long day. Everyone needs a little break every once in a while, chat. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Avenger plotting new course. Let's investigate these boxes. I need more I need more supplies. So far though, so good. 
Incoming message for you, Commander. Huh? Who's calling me? Through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress oh! against the aliens. Say over more the things than me, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Okay, thanks. I love you. Chosen are a tough group to infiltrate, but we've managed to gather intel on their latest actions. Oh, and asshole. have a rough idea of how close <laughs> each hell? is to reaching the ultimate goal taking my money. Hey! Avenger. Stop that! I'll kill her. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Uh, uh, well, I think I want to stop the one that's 100% more intel cost, frankly. Money's good, but that's awful. Commander, the factions have pledged their support to XCOM. And I need more money. Tell them I need more money. If they support me, then tell them to give me more money. Increases, Don't waste my fucking time. Things are going so well. Give me more fucking money. Sounds Fuck like my you. Reapers can take on some new orders. On timed missions, the timer does not begin until the squad has lost concealment. That is super good. I prefer that every single time. That's incredibly good. Commander, we'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance good. factions to complete these covert actions. I got They'll a couple fuck boys days, that definitely need to get sent out because they're wasting their time the here. And my, I got a lot of losers that need to get like toughened up. All right, right now. Got some real fucking bastards here that have no idea what they're doing. And they can save a helpful teammate while they're out. I'm looking at you, Lauren Robinson. I will chat when I send you out on a mission. I will name you. Commander. Okay. The resistance has a hidden cache of resources. If you're being sent out on a mission like that because you could be put into combat, that means we'll be we'll named have to fly at that over point. and scan we'll the area if first. we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. You could be sent into the combat. Factions could use a place to coordinate their operations. Lauren Commander. Robinson. This ring Shen designed sounds like a great Lauren candidate Robinson. for our next Your construction new name. effort. Lauren Robinson. It can't be Scrunkly, get out of here. Don't even say anything. Just shut up. All right, I don't want I don't want to see you in this list cuz you know I can't pick you. Okay, don't even don't bother. Camp Dingo. Camp Dingo. Cap Dingo, baby. Now that's a fucking name. <laughs> you look like a hive. You look like a fucking hive character from Destiny. Like a person faking it in the hive in Destiny 2. Fucking alkaline. Whatever. You're good. We're sending you out basically naked, but you are going out there. How do I do that again? Where do I access that? How do I how do I send do I need to build that building still? Where's the where Commander the Mox has been captured. We should Prince do everything Alpons. we can to get him back before All right. the chosen. Cap Dingo, get out there. It might him. level you up. And uh, another soldier can be sent, unfortunately. I have to name another person. Coffee? Coffee. Alright, let me name Coffee. Got another character to be named. Coffee is going to be renamed to God. We need a double your name, brother. I agree. Wick whack. I do agree, brother. Brother, we need some more W name, brother. Wick whack. Oh my, now that is a fucking look. Now that is a fucking look. Oh my God. And he's being safe. And chat, and he's safe. Wait, no. <laughs> Take that off.
Cap Dingo. Wait, I technically I should be doing this based off who has the highest hacking. Wait, I literally should. Quick whack, I'm renaming you. To Ju Han. You're being renamed because I want to send someone with higher hacking. You're gonna have a different look. And whoever would you were is now being renamed to I don't know, like stupid stinky. I want the character with higher hacking. Stupid. Stinky. Stupid stinky. McWack is being moved to the character with the highest hacking skill in this group, which is 10. And we cancel. Congratulations, you've been rebranded. Wick. Whack. It has to be done. It has to. Also, you sound like this. You don't even need to hear it to know that it's gonna sound stupid as shit. Uh, no. The magic man! <laughs> the incredible wink whack! One of the greatest wizards of our generation! <laughs> look how he look how he fucking picks up this gun with his invisible hands! And change your voice too. No but another. Tenemos acceso. I don't know why I like, like the Spanish voices so much, but they're in. They're in. They're fashionable right now. They're in. Okay, so this will bring back Praetal Mox if we succeed. Which will be, uh, super nice. Wait, wrong character. Quick one. Wow, that's a look, dude. And it'll probably level him up. Go, oh, my... Go, oh, my fellow soldiers! Save Praetal Mok so we can rename him. Covert is our specialty. Seven Let's days. Let's just hope your people can keep up. I believe in you. You'll do it. I know it. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions Thayer they've had to live with on the ground. And talking. Sure. Whatever. Create a. F oh my God, that's a fucking look. Twin towers of pain. No, like twin towels of pain. I see you right here, baby. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what else they got. Snorfed and Mirifay. Time to make some bodies drop. This is actually a fucking terrifying shot, dude. What is going on with Snorfed, man? Snorfed, please. His eyes. Randomize again. Whose leg is that? <laughs> Who's, who is that? What is that? <laughs> Why are you guys carrying this thing away? <laughs> what is happening? Why are they doing this? I cannot fucking interpret what the shit this is supposed to be. It looks like, oh my God, this is the, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it, that's the picture. That's it, print it. Print it, that's it, that's the one we want. That's the one we want. That's, that speaks to me a lot. Commander, you should establish contact with the local resistance network no, I need as money. soon as possible. No, I need, I need that the money. aliens are undoubtedly uh, shut moving up. forward shut the fuck up. with their plans. Shut up. I need, to, I need this money. Really bad. Uh, this will prove to have been an important breakthrough. All right. Experimental weapons inspired. Do I postpone the op top? It'll take. Do they the experimental weapons? Do eager it? to begin, Commander. Cyber blades. Cyber blades. Loud? I don't know why the game was loud there. It shouldn't have been. I turned it. 
Now this is ooh supplies. Uh, what's here right now? I don't have any money, so I can't build anything yet. But when I do, Chad, I think we get training center next, huh? What's it? What's the next best thing? You think? We have a gorilla thing, a uh, communication relay, resistance comms maybe. Resistance comms might be smart. Once I have the money, which I will in a couple seconds. Old money infirmary. Infirmary. I was thinking resistance comms. Then we already have a training room. No, we have a gorilla room. We have the we have the we have the gorilla tactics. Room. We desperately need the resistance ring. True. True. Which I can get in a couple of seconds. I get it right now. Commander, I appreciate Don't. you recruiting new up, up, staff up, 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 for the engineering team. Up, 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 up. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. Well, I got we good news. This is like when you walk up to your boss and like, boss, because you want to look good. A facility. You know what I mean, chat? You walk up to your boss when you have nothing to do, and you're like, boss, just so you know, like, like I can do something else if you need me to to help you out. And you don't actually expect the guy to pull out a big fucking bucket of like, like soapy water and say mop the fucking ceiling for me, if you if you have so much extra time. Like that's the sort of like now I gotta now I'm gonna pull out the bucket and be like oh you don't have enough to do huh? That's fine. How about you build a whole fucking like like command station for me in the building? How about that? How about you do that for me now? See you in a little bit huh? Mop the ceiling. So how are you supposed to clean the ceiling? Ceilings get dirty. One day, you'll want to mop the ceiling. Trust me. Money, dollar, dollar in the bank. Setting course for East Asia. Where are we going? I didn't want to go here. I, mean, I, did, I did not mean to go that way. We need to make connect. We need to make contact with uh. Setting course. We need to make contact with Indian India now. It's time. Zone. Definitely time to make contact with India. I would say. Power relay now operational. Power relay is done. There are no engineers working on the power relay. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe because it's finished. Maybe because we just finished it. And it's done. And there was an engineer. Actually, I guess there wasn't one building. Okay. Can increase Avenger power, but I'd rather have someone else immediately start working on clearing more alien machinery, frankly. Xing Li! Get me more alien alloys! Now! Put an engineer in the resistance ring, please! No! No, I don't think I will! <laughs> You're operating on the assumption that the Avatar project is moving according to plan! But it's moving at half speed, which means I have plenty of time to fucking bumble around doing whatever the fuck I want. For now. Yes. Get back to work clearing this trash for me! We completed our Experimental research weapons. in remarkable time, Commander. Commander, with the Advent Officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. It's been in cold storage for days now, all right? It's never happening. Give it up, Scientist Chen. It's off the table. You tell me when I get to do it instantly and I'll do it for you. Commander, please, man. We're running out of space in the fridge, please. Meanwhile, I'm over here unlocking bolt casters, hunters, axes, shadow blades, and frost bombs for my boys. The Shadow Keeper. Chat, you guys think I can dual wield Shadow Keepers? Remarkably accurate, ensuring that even the most inexperienced of our soldiers will strike their intended target. There's also a chance they could kill the target and escape undetected. This weapon is unique and cannot be duplicated or replicated. Never mind. Hunter's Axe. You can also only make one of these. 
Honed to an incredible degree, these ornately crafted throwing axes are compact enough for our soldiers to engage with from long range. These weapons are unique, cannot be duplicated. And the bolt caster, also unique. Slow firing range. Uh, targeted enemies have a chance of being stunned on impact. <laughs> Commander. Commander, please. Dude, you have to do the autopsy. Commander. Shut the hell up. Shut up. We're gonna look up how radios work. You understand me, Scientist Chen? You're gonna do some research on how radios do their thing. I'm not quite sure about it yet. That's what you're gonna do today. I'll see that work begin and you're gonna do it right now. I'll Explain you how radio work. If you can't, go back to basics and figure it out. I want 8G signal reliability in this building. Commander, <laughs> that doesn't exist. You're gonna find a way. We don't know how radios do. Get in there and find out how radios do. Now. Well, we find out how to make I contact suppose, with- that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Yo, we can save, we can save Mox. The resistance factions have helped to locate our captive soldier. Mox. The mission. We've confirmed the position of the soldier being held captive by the chosen. I'd really like we to have, have a fucking guy to like a rescue that. operation. Commander, if we're gonna win this war, we need to take every chance we get to fight back. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations, which require special planning Shadow and preparation. Squad. I mean, I'm gonna save him. I mean, we're gonna save him. It looks like conditions on the ground. Oh are right my for a God! Quiet the A team. We can get our frog, place. Paul, we and who the fuck is to work with. The hell? And, and Ruben, keep it real, Ruben. You can't shoot what you can't see. <laughs> Don't have any body. Can't get me. I'm a reverse Rayman sort of thing here. Got anyone better? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. A Zoomgi, maybe? Hey, Captain Dingo leveled up! And so did Wickwack! Yo, what's... Oh my god, if I brought Wickwack? Let's see what they got. And we'll get to... We'll get to saving him in a minute. These two got back from their trip. Because, of course they did. They just... Hi. Let's level them up and see what they did. How they did. What they get. Captain Dingo. Captain Dingo, uh, what's your deal? What do you have for sentry, protector, and bomber? Grenadier adds a dedicated grenade shot is like really good? Confident, the soldier's confident in their squad and themselves, inspiring anyone plus five will and aim for all allies within eight tiles. How much aim are we talking? Doesn't say. And tactician, a former officer of greater insight. Missed attacks deal plus one damage? Wait, so if you miss, you still hit? Is that how that works? Plus five aim, how much aim? Plus five will and aim. Oh, I, oh, I, I was like, I was like plus five will, say plus five something else. I, I guess I just didn't process that. Well. Heck, this seems really strong. Captain Dingo's a good option, I would say. Dual wield, let's go. We are absolutely never giving this person a Kimbo. Go to hell. Fuck, it would be good though. No, we need off it, chat. There's so many good off hands. So many. Let's see what wickwax has got on the table for us. Intercept. They've got Windcaller's Legacy again. Wild, we got a lot of wind callers. I don't know how the fuck all of you guys have the legacy of the wind caller, but it's starting to get a little bit derivative. Frankly. Akimbo now. <laughs> Will to survive. Enemy damage is reduced when in cover and attacked through that cover. High damage, high cover. I gotta like plug in my mouse. It's like running out of battery. Which I didn't think could happen with the mouse. It's happened. There you go. Uh, low cover reduces damage by one, also grants five will. And drifting. 
A veteran of many battlefields against the alien menace gains plus 20 dodge, plus five aim, plus five crit when within four tiles to the enemy. And he's gonna be a medic. He's gonna get that warp vanguard combo again, which is so, so good. Wait, chat, he has a secret perk line. Breaker. He's got secret spooky moves. This guy gonna be strong one day. Wickwack gonna do some good things. But for this mission, I think I'm gonna take Captain Dingo for this one. Specifically, cause I'm pretty sure this is an evac, get the fuck out of here mission. I'm gonna put a stock on this gun. And take Dingo. Fuck Dingo, take that back right now. Understand? If you know what's good for you. Captain Dingo is about to become a real asshole on the field. <laughs> Chat, you guys are un you guys are remembering that Captain Dingo gets two flashbangs. Okay? Captain Dingo. Sorry, squatty Captain Dingo is about to really do some stuff, okay? He's about to really pop off. Now I do want to start adding in some more psycho attachments because we got to start getting a little bit crazier. We haven't done anything in a while. You know, that's really made me feel alive. Hell, I'd give this guy a cannon if I knew that we weren't going to be fairly mobile in this fight. We'll probably get a cannon eventually. Once per turn, you get a free overwatch shot if this, if you're, when you're, this one is mine, this target moves or attacks. That's really good. Yeah, this guy, this guy's gonna be an Overwatch boy. Oh yeah, Cat Dingo's gonna be an Overwatch boy. Wait, after throwing or launching a grenade, you, uh, you, dude. Bro. This guy's gonna fucking slap. Synergizing the talents, a perfect fucking role. A possibly perfect roll. Hell, we could also take shield, technically, on him. Let's get out there and save Mox. It's time. Power creep? Well, Chad, that's why it's easier. It's easier to level up and boost the difficulty than the other way around. We have solid I'm not afraid to boost it to legendary later. That was taken but like, I don't know children. if you guys remember the part this where we did the first mission of the day. Rescue. But be aware, we'll be working know. with limited personnel for the next operation, Commander. You know, sort of not. I sort of sort of rather adjust back, like you know, higher than lower. Okay, Paul. So let me double check your stuff. It's been a while since we've used you. Breaker. First aid, yeah, this is our medic. And now we can swap our pistol for a melee weapon. Because this guy does have Windcaller's legacy, so it's worth giving him a SWAT on Paul. He's got his med kit. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. I don't really like frag grenades. I sort of like... No, I do like frag grenades. No, I like, I like double flash. Double flash is fucking spicy. All right, it's looking good. Frog is gonna kill them all anyways, who cares? Why do we don't even need to prepare? Because Frog's gonna kill everyone. You know what? I'm actually gonna do something with Frog. I'm giving Frog a drug, a permanent drug that'll boost his mobility by one forever. I'm gonna give him a cybernetic enhancement. Make him faster, make him stronger. Because if he's faster, he can. he's gonna do so much. This man is the guy. Everyone else is coming along to watch Frog. Sorry, rest of the team. Give Frog the mega pistol you got. I don't think I can Akimbo those. I also don't think I have the money and equipment to buy. I also don't want to lose it if we all die on this horrible mission. So that's a later thing. Let's do it. There they go. My heroes. Shut my fucking heroes. 
Unbridled badasses. Operation Shambling Agony is uh, actually very spooky. Center in this region. If we're going to pull a rescue off, our best approach is to go in quietly without alerting the dual wheel shields. Why do we, why do we keep naming these missions so scary? Why do we keep naming these missions so weird? The latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try away? to get in and out as oh quietly as possible. Oh my god, he's a thousand miles if away! If spots us, this is going to get a whole lot harder. Enemies are at ease. Chat, here's the thing. Frog has super concealment, so just remember that. He's get like, if no one can see him for like a couple of minutes, he re-enters concealment. So... Bin. Be a piece of cake. Tengo el enemigo a la vista. Stay clear okay. of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully turrets. automated or remotely triggered. Not a good start. We don't have any shredding options. So we're gonna go around this, uh, try to hug the wall, get around the turrets entirely. I'd really rather not even fight them. If I can help it, I'd like to never encounter the turrets. Is that Advent Trooper right there? I saw him. And it's not that Bio Trooper. Stealth. We're gonna be fine, chat. All right. Don't worry about a thing. Everything gonna be fine. Everyone just stay calm. Go away. Don't walk this way. Or this is gonna be the worst stealth level of my. Ah, he's walking that way. That's good. That's good. We're gonna tail him. We're gonna tail this guy. We have Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander, but as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high alert. We should hold back unless we have we can the take target as much time as it's an like. absolute emergency. Which means we're gonna do... We're gonna do some fucking Overwatch for shields and watch where this guy goes. For now. He's still walking. Is he gonna go over? He is. That's good. That's exactly what we want. All right, we're gonna keep moving up. Slowly but surely, we're gonna keep on moving. Was that an explosive barrel? That's hard to resist. <laughs> God, resist, resist. Resist. Just resist. Overwatch, more like OP. See, what I'm trying to do is get to this tower, because that's like a really good fucking fighting spot. It's fairly close to him in the grand scheme of things. I'm trying to sneak up to there. If I can get to there, I'll feel pretty good. If you know what I mean. Good news is, this turret won't get any closer to us, so... So I can still technically hug this wall. You just gotta hope that guy don't come back. We're in advanced sneak mode, by the way. And we can reconceal, so... Should, in theory, be pretty good. We're just gonna take it slow. Unless something new comes out, we can take it as slow as we need to. And he's coming back. That's not ideal. He's actually walking all the way up to us. He's, uh... He actually got a... He's basically legally blind, actually. He's, um... He seems to be sort of blind. We're in advanced twilight darkness right now. So I guess I'm gonna... Ah, it's too bad I can't quietly cut him in half. The turret would hear it all. I just don't want to get the security level, level high yet. If I can help it. I think we can sneak by him. But it's stupid. It's stupid, but unless he walks wide, we could go right by him. Because his range is so fucking small. Alright, Frog. Slip by him. He's completely legal. He's completely blind. He can't see anything. Blind as a bat, chat. He's blind as a fucking bat. He can't see anything. He can't see anything in that helmet. Nothing. Everyone just pile up in this corner. Don't turn this way. God, please don't turn this way. All right, we got around him. All right, everything's fine. Deaf and blind. All right. 
Let's get up to the top. So we can see what we're working with here. Oh, where are you going? Where are you? He's fine. Everything's fine. All right, I got eyes on the area. It's clear on this whole wall. Let's get moving. That could have backfired pretty bad. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's just keep moving as quick as possible. Mox is waiting for us. All right. Uh, I'm not approaching the building yet. We're going to keep following the uh, wall. Good thing these don't actually cause an alarm system or anything like that. Or this would be really bad. We're gonna keep hugging this wall for now and just being extremely careful. Just because there's no reason to not play it as careful and cool as possible. What about Saw Guy? I didn't see. We're just trying to get as close as possible. We might even be able to get him out before he, he returns. Legally blind Larry. Okay. That bomb at? Still, so he's begging for it. He actually wants me to kill him. He wants me to kill him so bad, Larry. We're not gonna let him, though. We're not gonna let him get it that easy. Voy hacia allá. All right. Chad, it's a straight away through the building now. We're gonna get everyone on this wall and then we're gonna file in. Understand, everyone? We all know the plan. We know what we're going in there for. Should be a piece of cake. I'm half expecting some enemies to come out of the building, but so far it's just been Larry. <laughs> There's something? That the, I know building Monka W. I know building Monka W, but like we have to. Okay, so here's the last thing I'm gonna do. Captain Dingo is gonna go wide here. I wanna make sure there's nothing's gonna come around the corner. I'm not seeing anything, it's clear. All right, everyone else start moving closer. Start moving closer, we know the deal. We're almost to the building. This feels like a trap. Oh, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not without a doubt. <laughs> Undeniably. It's completely quiet in there. Something's wrong. Frog, you seeing this shit? I don't buy it. As far as I can throw it. But it was so close. Everyone just be cool. One at a time, file in. They leave the prisoners unguarded. It's sort of like an open concept, this prison. Like, it, it, they're trying to see if people feel more rehabilitated being completely ignored and allowed to wander the site completely unattended. You know, that's sort of what we're at. It's like, a, oh, yeah, yeah, we won't, like, pick on you or, like, put you in chains or anything. You just, like, walk around, have a good time. He doesn't even want to leave. He's probably just hanging out in there, playing, like, Game Boy Advance or something. Seriously, nothing's gonna... Nothing? No, like, prisoner is gonna come out of one of these things try to get me? Uh... Frog, approach... Position confirmed. A little bit. Nothing. Ghost town. Okay, uh, we're gonna get closer then. <laughs> the only guard in the entire building is Larry. And a bio trooper that's like, that got sent here by accident and is supposed to be at war right now. And it's like, I got fucking, he got like that bad rap. We're gonna have to hack it. We never packed a hacker, is what I would say. Oh, wait, no, we definitely did not pack a hacker. Well, uh,. If anyone can hack, it's the most expendable person in the group, uh, Cat Dingo. Wait another turn there, Cap Dingo. We're gonna move the team up for you. And then you're gonna unlock that fucking di Oh my god. Oh wait, it's, it's a turret, it can't do anything. We're fine. Everyone just move up. Next turn we get Mox out of here and then we evac. Quiet like. As long as we don't fight in turrets, we'll be okay. I don't want to fight a turret, frankly. 
Frankly, the turrets would be the worst possible outcome. Let's hack this. Open the door. Let's get him out of there. Begin the hack. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, bypass door lock or... Yeah, I'd like to unlock this door without triggering security protocol, but the odds of it are a little low, but that's okay. Oopsie daisy. I mean, I was expecting a struggle. I was ready for a fight. We packed ready for a fight. Is that our, oh, we're gonna evac in the middle of the helipad. Hey, Central, that's sort of fucking stupid. Central, I don't understand. There's like 18 turrets over there. Central. Central, why are we going out there? Central, I don't understand. Well. You know who can reconceal? Can we all reconceal? <laughs> well, one of us has to carry Mox out of there. He's fucking, he's unconscious. But we could probably all just reconceal. I wonder if they'd try to get us after that. Fuck it. Everyone reconceal. When they come here, they'll just find a door open. Oh my god. Captain Go! Okay, the odds of them hitting were incredibly low. That's good. It's on Overwatch. Oh, they're sending in, they're sending in help. Can you conceal and carry a body from me when I find out? They put out a distress signal and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. There's only one way to find out. Frog, grab that guy. Get Mox out of here. Come on, we gotta get up. All right, that revealed him. Well, we did know that was coming. Okay, that was that was destined to happen. Now, at the very least, the other two are concealed. I trust Mox the most with. Oh my God, is that a is that a priest and two shock boys? No. Yeah, we don't have to kill him, we just have to get to the fucking evac point. But that turret has to die for that to happen. Probably. They're not gonna come in, are they? That'd be incredibly stupid. No. Yeah, th that turret's really wasting its time right now, which is good. It's good. Okay, we have to start moving faster. Everyone. How the hell am I gonna get spotted from here? Chat, what's the button that lets me, like, set the path? Oh, I'm already in the spot zone, huh? Oh, hey. <laughs> well, hey, how you doing, man? You're not dead! Ah! It's fine. It's fine. Now, unfortunately, I am, I believe, about to get shot by a turret. I've been in the turret firing range for a while. Uh, best bet here. I don't believe turrets can suffer from blindness. But I got two flash grenades. I'm gonna fucking use them. That did reveal me, but uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to fucking ditch Mox soon. But we're gonna get Mox around this corner. I'm hoping there won't be any ads around. That fucked up his Overwatch though, which is good. I gotta drop Mox somewhere that I so I can help. There's more guys incoming. Shock troopers, huh? Man, Mox is heavy, dude. I might want to switch it for Captain Dingo because fucking Frog could really be helping right now. Priest in a stun lancer. The turret's my concern, not these guys so much. I have another frag and flash and smoke. Please don't hit Cap. Wasting ammo. I mean, they don't have, they have unlimited ammo, but you know. They're all overwatching. <laughs> the odds to hit are very low. Which is good. Um, I could probably run around this corner and meet up with the others and probably be okay. It's gonna take at least two more turns to get to a safe area. I mean, I'm thinking we're gonna run for it at the end of all this. Unless a stun lancer comes and fucking gets us, which is always a fucking concern. Where's Cap Dingo? 
Tapdingo's gonna make a run for the other side. Or... Or we just keep bullying these assholes. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather save my other flashbang. I'm gonna make Cap run to the other side because I'm gonna give him frogs. I'm gonna give him Mox. I'm gonna trade off. So Cap, Godspeed, don't get fucking hit. Don't get hit. Please. Yup. Yup, easy. Fucking easy. This wall's bulletproof, dude. Okay, Cap. Drop this unit. I need Frog's fucking ammo. I need Frog's power. Frog's the most powerful warrior on the team. Yeah, set him down gently, just like that. On the wrong side of the wall. Behind the entire wall. And start lighting. Just light this priest up. Okay. Two damage is not great, but the important thing is that we start firing. And, um... I'm just gonna start putting... I'm gonna have Paul... I mean, we need to start. We need to be moving, frankly. I sort of want everyone on this wall in this area. I don't want to be here. We want to start moving. We technically all got full cover from this angle. I don't think these guys can move far enough to get shots on us. So it might be best to just run. Warlock over here. Is is this going to be a fucking problem? Like, I'm concerned that I would not be able to pick him back up now because of this. Let me move Warlock to this position. Not to shoot through a window to get me. The odds are that they won't. Move Warlock here. I think that's gonna end up being in a really annoying situation. You have another flashbang, which I plan on using. We're not gonna be killing all these guys. My intention is to run. This guy's an idiot. He's throwing. We got throwers, boys! Uh-oh. Oh, they're throwing! You fucked up! You came after Frog, bitch! Never stood a fucking chance! Are you stasising me? Oh, no. That was what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Well, that's a turn. Frog won't be participating. Ah, uh, the roof is coming down. I mean... So, no more backup has come in a little bit. I might keep fighting this Lancer because, frankly, there's not much I can do while Frog is out for the count right now, and I'm going to get Overwatch shot at anyways. I'm going to shoot at this Lancer. Book it? Can't. Flashbang and stasis ends? Yes. I forgot I had stasis. I forgot I had flashbang. Man, I really wish I could... Flashbang and stasis eggs! Give you flashbang and stasis eggs! Where, where'd, uh, where'd that come from? Where'd, uh, that, uh... That was a lie, huh? You added me for that? You added me for that lie. And now you're doing, like, a sad, crying emoji face? At least they're flashbang. I guess. Which means I can grab... I mean, I'd rather, I think I'd rather shoot the guy. Right now, the gun, I think the turret's blinded by a smoke, like, the smoke. I don't even think it can see us. Well, I have a rocket launcher still. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab Mox, because we have to do it through a wall. But now you see us? Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, he's irrelevant. He's not going to make it in time. Oh, boy, Paul. Oh, Paul is in a... I was hoping that Paul would get a move... Like, a move... Before all this happened. But he didn't. Which is real unfortunate. I don't want boost... Man, this is sort of rough. We're so close. If I just survive a turn in this area, we can get out of here. But if we get stun lanced, they're too far away to stop me. I think the play is to run for it. Like, actually just run for it and hope Paul can survive. But he can't fucking heal! Here's what we do, alright? We can make this run with Frog from here. We can. 
It'll it'll be fine. We can smoke this spot, put everyone there, and book it on the next turn and make it. I don't know why it's not the smoke's not stretching to there, but this is technically gonna work, I think. Maybe. It depends on how far we can carry. We can. Alright, this is the play. Frog is gonna take the Overwatch hit because he's got the highest chances of dodging it. I'm gonna fucking smoke this corner and run for it. I don't think the I don't think the stun lancers are gonna make it in time. Worst case scenario, one of us gets stasis, which will be uh real bad. Move first, why does it matter? Oh, it ended my fucking turn. Well, that's fine, because Frog can make it to the exit on his own. Uh, but that means I'm going to have to make Captain go first. Uh, Cap's going to go to this spot. Please don't hit me. Nice. Cap also has a rocket launcher. Wow, everyone. Everyone is here. And fucking Mox. I don't know if Mox is going to end up being worth all the trouble. But if they don't hit me, God for luck. It's Larry! <laughs> I sure hope this is close enough for Warlock. It should be to make it. Oh my god! Chance it. Is that a grenade? That's good. If that's a grenade. Is that a flashbang or a grenade? <laughs> well, Paul's down and dying. Paul might not be getting out of here. I'd prefer Mox over Paul. If I had to make a choice, would it save? It'd be Paul, because this is, uh, this is totally fucking cursed. This is real cursed. I, I'd save Mox before I save Paul. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> this was not very good. I should have fucking killed everything. I should have never snuck in. Should have killed everything as I saw it. Stun Lancer, if he can melee still. It's over. It's over. We lose. The odds of me getting out of here are basically zero. And why can we not pick up Mox from here? Oh, because he's one block away? We can't chat, we can't save any of them. Shady got one shot down to stun. I don't think there's any way I can save him. He's out of range. I can't get him up from here. I don't think. He's on a box. Yeah, I don't know. I can't reach it. So uh, he bugged out. Did he bug? Is that a bug? <laughs> Because I'm one away, yeah, but like, I feel like, I feel like he's gonna try to block me at the last second. Well, we knew we'd lose people eventually. I just wish it wasn't like this. I don't think I can say, I think if I walk up here, Captain Dingo is also gonna die. But Captain Dingo also can't make it to the exit. And we can't kill that stun lancer. He has like a super armor because of the fucking priest. Nor can we kill that bio trooper. This is a wipe. Run away? You can't. I have to make it over there. The odds are very high Captain Dingo gets lit up doing this. They won't make it. And I don't even see Paul in this fucking smoke. Man, this just backfired in the worst fucking way. This is sad. Time to restart? Why? I got a bunch of other super strong characters. So what if I lose a couple of these guys? It's not, that's part of XCOM. But I'd like to save Captain Dingo. He's leveled up. Call the heli on top of you. I uh, don't know if that's gonna happen, but uh, I could try. I feel like it would take a couple of turns. Doesn't Captain Dingo have a rocket launcher? No, that was, uh, Paul. Actually, wait, I think he does have a rocket launcher. He just didn't come with any rockets because there's a mod that makes it cost ammo now. I think that's actually what fucking happened with that. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, Captain Dingo did have a rocket launcher. But there's a, I have to pack rockets. And I didn't know that until it was too late. Uh, yeah, this is over. Um, I'm just gonna try to get Captain Dingo to the evac point and maybe RNG will be on my side. That's really all I can hope for because there's no way I can save Frog. Absolutely no chance. Hopefully everyone misses his Overwatch so we can at least get Captain Dingo out. But they're gonna die of poison in one more turn. Yeah, that's uh, that might be Dunzo. Wow, they are overwatching me on this, huh? This is fucked up. 
<laughs> Guys, it's fucked up. They hate me. They hate dingoes so bad. That's it. That's it. Frog! No! Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. That is so bullshit. Come on, dude. If I run the other way, chat, how long does it take to get a helicopter to come down? How long is that? Because I could make Frog run the other way. Move as far as you can and hunker down. You can't do both, dude. <laughs> Like five turns. One turn. Everyone's saying different fucking things. All right, Jay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save here not to re not to like, I'm going to save here and do the helicopter thing in the assumption that it's one turn because that's what the most people, most people are saying is like one to two. And if it says five, I'm gonna reload it and do my original plan of running to the thing because I don't know how the helicopter works, okay? So I'm gonna tell a helicopter to land right here. I mean, I guess I can do it without even using an action. It's here right now. All right, bye. Don't shoot him. He's dead. It's over. They're all dead. Goodbye, frog. R.I.P. You three. Sent to save shitty ass Mox, who's also dead now. Needed to call on you one square away. Well, that's, um, I would say that's the fault of the billions of weird, wrong info I was given right there. Because if it was anything other than one turn, I needed to put it away from me. And run to it. Reload it. I don't know, dude. Everyone said instant. No, they didn't. If you scrolled up, you would see that's not true. <laughs> One free reload. Chat kind of fucked you on that. I mean, I think I agree, but like, I don't know. I feel sort of scummy to reload it. Today, you see a lot of instants. Chat, you guys are so fucking dumb. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. You guys are so fucking stupid. I'll reload and see if it changes anything, but I know how XCOM's li uh, likelihoods... Wow, that's fucking pathetic. I'll reload and try that one fucking move and see if that changes anything because I misunderstood it, but, like, I can tell you for fucking certain that, um, there's a high likelihood because XCOM saves its odds that no matter what, Frog dies here. Like, quite literally, no matter what, Frog will die here because that NPC has a guaranteed Overwatch hit on me right now. Because it predetermines those odds. That's why you can't, like, reload and spam an attack on someone 80,000 times and get a W. It just doesn't work like that. So, I'm going to assume no matter how many times I were to try this, I would die. But, fuck it, we'll try it one time. Because I can't call it directly on me, I have to call it right here. Oh, I'm in. All right, bye. <laughs> the alternative ending where Frog Let's got out it. and we left everyone else to die. Everyone else sucked anyways. Bye. Providing XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Mox can rot we in hell. just couldn't get them out of there. The mission was a failure. <laughs> Good ending. I don't know about that. Take a photo. The tightest turn. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Well, it's time to ban some people. Warlock Paul. Come on out. Mods, you are free to ban them. For three days, 72 hours. I think that's like 2,500, like two, no, it's like 250,000 seconds. You wanna get out Warlock Paul? One word, 
Goodbye, warlock, Paul. I'll see you on the other side. You tried. It's not your fault what happened. Uh, frankly, it's the fault of the carrying mechanics in the game and the grenade that that guy had. If that guy didn't have a grenade, we would have won. I know it. And the deceptive travel distance of the stun lancers who can apparently run very far and attack. And Captain Dingo, he seemed like such a cool synergy until they fucking died. You want Cap Dingo? I think somewhere in there. Mods, take him down. Goodbye, Cap. Oh, it was Digo. It was Cap Digo. Well, I liked Dingo more. Sorry, Digo. Dingo was better. I made your name. You could rename if you want. If you want to rename the Cap Dingo, you'll probably be better off. I would rename. I would take this time to rename yourself. Oh, that's a sad fucking thing. Tide has turned. <laughs> hey, at least Frog lived. At least, Advent at least Frog got out of there. Held an XCOM assault on an you know what I mean, guys? Detention center. The administration is confident that they will be able to Most damage dealt Warlock Paul. We only got and one shot off that whole fucking mission. I'm never doing it like that again. Chat, next time I play, next time I do a mission like this, okay, so well, we're gonna we gun them down. Memorialize. <laughs> All right, fine. He lived as a hero. Yeah, that's not good enough, right? Immortal in our hearts. He will live on in our struggle. Immortal in our hearts. Avenge him, avenge him. Struggle, sacrifice, die as a hero. Whoa. This is the kind of thing where you say, this guy's a ghost that's gonna haunt the aliens. And that's what I like to think happened to Warlock fucking Paul. Chat. Warlock Paul lives on in hell. That's powerful. Goodbye, Warlock Paul. And Dingo. Oh, good one here. Give me a good random one. Another spooky one. Unequaled in life, revered in death. They cannot kill her dream of freedom. Honor her sacrifice. Wait a minute. This guy didn't even succeed in a single mission. I think we need more dead aliens to get the effect we're going for. <laughs> you you don't get to fucking be remembered you didn't even do anything you walked outside of a building and ate shit fuck you and pray tell Mox is still you never dead reveal yourself when you don't have a safe escape we expected better from you commander well no it was the fault of the hacking team who was uh what cap dingo Cap Dingo blew it? Fuck you. No. Fuck you. Chat. Alas, it's been six hours. The stream is over. We will rise from the ashes. We will rise from the ashes. From this defeat, we will. Honestly, Chat, here's the thing. If we had, say, told the helicopter, fuck that place, go here, could we have evac'd everyone right at the front door and never even gotten into danger and just like won? Because that would have made, that'd make me cry. But it'd be a good thing to know for later. I'm not going to reload to that, obviously. It's happened. It's over. But next time, <laughs> now, I'm not going to listen to their evac points anymore, I don't think, because that one was the fucking worst evac point I've ever seen ever. Like, I think we can all agree, okay? I'm pretty, I'm okay at the game. I understand tactics, the game, but I don't understand the inner workings of weird mechanics. And that game put my evac point in actually the worst place ever it could have. In the middle of a clearing, in front of two turrets. There was another one that we couldn't see, like past it. 
and got and fucking Larry, who's like the strongest warrior in the advent. So yeah, really got robbed on that one. Let me save my game and uh, wrap up stream today. I am taking tomorrow off. Uh, I won't be here, but uh, I will be back on Thursday. I'll be back on Thursday, chat. I'm definitely gonna stream this again, I think. Um, this was a lot of fun for me. And I'm honestly, chat, glad some people died because it's, uh, it's not permadeath. It's not chat permadeath without that happening. It's just me winning. So a little bit of loss here or there is good, frankly. And this is why I did not pack my good weapons. <laughs> I had a bet. I had like a gut feeling when everyone was like, make the new weapons. I was like, I don't know. I've never done a mission like that before. When I did all my other campaigns that I've done did not use the story missions. Only one did. It was a very short one that I tested with. Every other one has already had all the other factions unlocked, so I didn't have to save Mox. So I didn't really know what I was going into when I did that. But now I know for next time not to fuck it up like that. We're gonna be we're gonna be fine. We lost only one meaningful character, and it was Warlock, it was our medic. But we already have a better medic that has Gremlin Protocol stuff, so they're superior. So we didn't really lose very much, frankly. He was there. But the other character that we have that knows medic stuff can do it with a gremlin. So they're infinitely a thousand times more valuable. So, uh, sorry, warlock. You're nothing. Moggy Augie, thanks for the gifted subs. I appreciate it very much. Dorshkal, thanks for the two dollars. Put me in coach. That's not how it works. Static Geek, thanks for the five gifted subscribers. I really appreciate it, man. Awful lot of gifted subs today. Thank you all very much for that. Uh, Dragon of Fire with the $10. It is time for this month's true fact. We have lost the game. You have lost the game, all of you. That's all the fact is. It just says you have lost the game. All of you have lost the game. Hey. Ominous. This game or a different game? Fuck that guy. Yeah, get him. Don't let him push you around like that. Victronic, thanks for the 245 bits. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Chat, thank you all very much. I'm sure I've missed some gift subs and donations, as is custom. I'm actually currently right now getting a credit sequence uh, made. So subscribers will have something from now on going forward pretty soon. That's happening. It's more work, not work for me, but more work than I expected it to be. Like it's harder to do than you'd think. <laughs> so that's happening soon. And uh, then uh, I'll be back on Thursday. I don't know what I'm streaming. It may even be more of this, depends on how I'm feeling. I definitely want to revisit this. I might do it weekly, might do it a couple more times short burst. I'm gonna decide uh, based on how I'm feeling tonight, but I'm definitely taking tomorrow off. Tomorrow is definitely a day off. So don't even show up tomorrow. There won't be a stream. All right, chat, as always, it's been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. I'll see you guys on Thursday. No D&D &D tomorrow. We're off for a couple of weeks. We've ruined everything. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.